Shalom, 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 Israel, shalom, most high Christ blessed, most high Christ blessed. Welcome to Patient Saints Radio, 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 Radio. All praise to the most high, man. All praise to the most high. It's another day the most high God has awarded us to do his work in the earth. All praise, man. all praise. All praise. All praise to the most high. To my left I have Shalom Israel. I'm Deacon Malachi. I'm Captain Shemaya. And I'm Captain Amaziah. Who we got over here, man? Officer Barnabas in the Barnaby. house. Barnaby. <laughs> Officer REA. All praise to the most high. Hey, 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 we, the Southern Kingdom kind of deep up here today, man. That's right. Southern Bro. Kingdom deep. Mm, All three tribes up here. All yeah, praise to the yeah, most Yeah, but my problem is, man, we got too many <laughs> Benjamin. We got too many Benjamin up here. Hey, Benjamin raising up, man. I mean, how we start Do we the, have to have three Benjamin up here? Man, how we start the racism two wasn't, first two, thing out the gate? Bro, listen, man, two of you was enough. <laughs> now we have three of y'all. I think that just adds the perfect balance, you know. Yeah, it does, man. Three does. Benjis. How is that? How is that? How is that? Three wolves, <laughs> one Levite, Damn. one Judite. That's the perfect balance of Look, that the Most High wanted. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? Somebody said more Levi, please. <laughs> yeah, man, more Levi, man. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh man. man, all praises, man, all praises. Man. Hey, um, before you start, uh, all praise to Most High. It's good to be with y'all guys again. On a Sunday morning, before you before you start, I just want to say this. Uh, I know I know a lot of people here down in the in the south. Me, I'm from south. You already know what that mean. Up 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 north, we use the N word a lot. And I know down here down south, people got sensitive. People is very sensitive about when you say Negro niggers. Uh. I want to apologize if we offended anybody. Of course. Well, well, I don't really mean that. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those of you who were, who's uh, offended, you'll be all right. Uh, <laughs> as long as you repent, it's okay. They could be you mad at you as long as they repent. <laughs> Because I know they've been uh, uh they, they uh somebody tell you they was asking question are they offended mm. about the N word? Yeah. Mm. Maybe you were saying somebody was watching that they sent oh, a yeah, question. Yeah, 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 yeah. If they're offended, yeah. Yeah. uh But we, we can always go to the scriptures. Yes, we can. Yeah, exactly. You see, we 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 you see my actually all of us here come from up north. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, except Except Judah. So somebody was on the beach out in California. Except Judah from uh, in the beach in California. <laughs> <laughs> from in the water. West, west. west. Uh, <laughs> Probably said west, west. What the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's move on. What we got? What we got? What we got? I know the black woman struck again. Bro, yeah. hey, there's been, I, I, don't, I don't know what's worse. I don't know the, if it's the level of coonery buffoonery or the fact that there's a new devil in office i i don't know Might i don't know all wait, three wait. yeah all, all three is kind of got me scratching my head this week and then and then how our people are upset black that they upset. have a new slave master yeah black people are upset hey, hey, i got a question come on d i got a question i'm glad you said that i got a question and please 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 call 
What is the phone number? 770-629-5743. Four, three. Call in. Call Questions, in. Comments. Because I want somebody to answer this question for me. I want somebody to tell me. Because people got mad. A lot of people was mad Friday because Donald Trump sworn in as, as the 45th, something like that? The 45th, 45th president? Right, right. 45th. So that means 45th. My question is to you is, the last time I looked, is Donald Trump is the one who started our oppression? No. No. So my question to you is, why are you mad at Donald Trump? Donald Trump is not the one who started your oppression. Right. Because the last time I looked, Obama, you got a black man just spent eight years in office. We are worse than we was before he took office. That's right. So... Why are you mad they put Donald Trump who's going to follow the same thing Obama follow, who's going to do the same thing Obama do, which is nothing. Right. For the black community. For the least. black community. You mad because he's in office. Because, but Donald Trump didn't start your oppression, though. We was oppressed way before Donald Trump came in office. Because one thing about us, we got amnesia. Right. The short, black people short. got amnesia. We got short memories. We forgot... We was oppressed before Donald Trump get in office. So please call in. Tell me. Maybe I'm maybe hey, maybe I'm wrong. Please. I'm not the smartest brother in the world. Please, please tell me if I'm wrong. Right. Because I know black people been oppressed in this country for for the past four hundred years. Right. And now you are you mad because another demon, another devil sworn in. Right. Like, like but, Obama was in the Yeah. Demon. But you vote for Obama for you. You put Obama in office for eight years. He didn't do nothing. Then don't, Obama only passed two laws for the black people. Right. He only passed two laws. Homos can get married. <laughs> and uh, and uh, for free phones. Nope. <laughs> and uh, Obamacare. Nope. Obama. Oh, Obama, Obama cares not for them black people. Crazy. My bad. Obama. Obama cares for the white trailer trash. <laughs> uh. <laughs> homos can get married. And you can be you can be you can be a woman and go to the to the oh, boys bathroom. Right. Oh, the transgender, transgender bathroom. Yeah. Transgender bathroom. That's the only two law Obama passed for black people. And you some of some of you is like, yeah, 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 yeah. Two homos can get married now. Yeah. Right. Now Donald Trump come in. Hey, you know Bishop was you're showing you last night what Donald Trump did first. First. Your guys mad, but Donald, you been oppressed before but before before Donald Trump. I don't know. Hey, oh, hey, call hey, him. Maybe hey, here's the thing. What you, here's what you, you think. You think <coughs> that Hillary Clinton would have been the better way. But Hillary Clinton's policy is the same policies her husband had. And her husband locked up more of your, more of your sons and more of your daughters than any other president. Right. Exactly. So, so, so what would have been different? Tell me, what would have been different? Real quick, Daniel 417. Because you you hey. you're upset that <coughs> Obama. Hey, Cap. Yes. Hey Cap, before you bring Daniel, uh, Dan, Daniel, can you uh, can you start with uh, can you open up with uh, John eight thirty two? Yes, sir. About the truth. Yes, sir. Because because if you notice one thing about our people, we don't like the tr we don't like hearing the truth. Right. We hate that. One thing about us, man, we hate the truth. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. John 8 and 32. John chapter 8, verse 32. Uh -huh. And ye shall know the truth, uh -huh. and the truth shall make you free. So now, you shall know the truth. Shall. Because we spent 400 years understanding lies. So now, it's time to know the truth. And that truth is going to set you free. Free from what? Free from the mental bondage that you've been in. We've already been set free from the physical chains. Yep. So it's not talking about the physical chains. It's talking about the slavery, the slave mentality that we're still stuck in. Guess what? If you are mad that Donald Trump was sworn in on Friday, you need to be set free hmm. because you're still in a slave mentality. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. That's, that's the thing, Cap. They, you, your guys will never like the Israelite. <laughs> I'm telling you straight. Because right. one thing about black people I know for sure, your guys don't like nobody tell you about yourself. That's right. The minute you nope, listen, we can hey the, the crazy thing with, with black people is that, and you know, you know, to prove that, 
to prove that is how we kill each other every day, but when a white man shot one of us, all everybody everybody rise up. Right. Oh, well, man, let, let's march. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about the 700 that's dying in Chicago by black men? Why didn't you, why didn't you march about that? Why? You say, oh, no, 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 no. Don't talk about that. Don't talk about that. Don't talk about that. Mm. Uh, talk about that white man who killed one of us. You sick as hell. Mm. Because you know why? You don't want people to tell you about yourself. And, and, and I'm going to tell you this, though. Donald Trump tell you about yourself. That's why a lot of you hate Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. But like I always said, Donald Trump is going to force the Negro to do something for himself. Hey, he sure told John Lewis about himself. Yep, yep. Woo. You see how the Negroes, they, they, oh boy, they're ne mad. Negrodom is in an uproar. Bro, the Negroes mad about that. Go ahead, Cap. Go ahead. Uh, Dan I know you have that scripture. Yeah, Daniel 4, 17. Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. Uh -huh. This matter is by the decree of the watchers Come on. and the demand by the word of the holy ones uh -huh. to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. So mm. Most High God is in control of in the kingdom of men. We are the men walking upon the earth. Mm -hmm. But yet we think we have the power to choose a king, yep. to choose somebody over us. The scripture says most high God is the one who puts these people in place. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And giveth it to whomsoever he will. So now the Lord gives that kingdom's rulership to whoever he wants. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And setteth up over it the basest of men. Hey, y'all going crazy thinking the greatest man is leaving office, Obama. <laughs> Who did the Most High said Obama is? The basest of men. God says he's the basest of men. That's who he set up over this kingdom. Mm -hmm. The one going in, what did God call him? The basest of men. <laughs> That's what the Most High God said. Most High God said, guess what? The one coming out, going out, is the basest of men. Yep. The one coming in is he's the, the basest, basest of men. men. However you want to take it. You so, think you think these men is not basic because they got money. Right, right. He's a yeah, he's a he's known as a billionaire. Yep. Or, or what is it? Uh, Obama is so charismatic. Right. You know, they, they say, oh, he's such a great speaker. In other words, he lull you you're behind the sleep. Right, right, right. He's such a great speaker. And what ends up happening is because he speaks so well, you forgot that he's the basis of men, as That's the Bible right. said. That's right. Because he could shoot a jump shot. Mm -hmm. Because he picked the final four brackets in the college basketball tournament. <laughs> yeah. Because he shed a tear for Sandy Hook. For them, for, black for men. Devils. What Obama did for the black people? Well, mm. he can shoot a jump shot. Oh my he goodness. got a nice J. He got a nice. You stupid as hell. Hey, and the thing, and the thing is, they say you ask them that, and they're actually offended that you ask it, asking what has Obama done for our people. Well, he's not just a black president; he's everybody's president. Hey, hey, you know the funny thing is that what you just said. You know when Obama went to Chicago. To say to give his last speech to say goodbye. Remember, Chicago last year, seven hundred and something, seven hundred and sixty black black men, black women dropped dead in Chicago alone, just in a major city, by other black men. You know what black people say in Chicago when they ask him about that? They say, "Oh well, that's not a president problem. That's the mayor problem." Oh, oh. bro, I'm telling you, we are some sick people. That's the man's problem. We are some. They said to them, "Wait a minute, uh, Obama did uh, is in office, uh, and the crime rate sky high. The 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 nigger, the dumb nigger say this is what's coming out of the nigger mouth. Well, that, yeah, that's not really a president problem. That's a mayor problem. You are right, an idiot. Right, right. That's Obama that, can't fix that, everything. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Our mentality. Well, what has he fixed? The mentality of our people is sickening. We are some sick, sick, sick people." He's a black man in office. Under him, crime rate goes sky high. Mm. But here come the black <laughs> woman. Well, uh, uh, well uh, it's, 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 it's not his. That's the mayor problem. That, that, that's not, the that's not his fault. Somebody said tribal hating. Mm. Yo, guys, the Bible, God. please. What, what tribal hating? <laughs> what, what is that? Hey, call in. <laughs> We're tribal hating? Tribal hating. <laughs> we are the 12 in. tribes of Israel. We hate everybody who's not. Hey, yep. can, the hell I get is a script? This? can I get a script? Yep. Let's go to Isaiah 41 and 21. That's right. If I was scoffing uh, brothers and sisters or demons on, the, on this uh, line here. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 21. Produce your cause. What did, what did God say? Produce your cause. There we go. We teaching the Bible. You happy now? The Bible says produce your cause. Don't, don't sit on the periscope. And you, know what God, you know what that means? Produce your cause? 
the Bible said if you cannot open the Bible and say anything, shut the hell up. That's right. That's, That's what, what shut that means. Learn. Shut the hell up and learn. Yep, yep. We telling you shut the hell up. Yep. yep. That's what we just said. Yep. Yeah. I know you. Be, oh, they got a Bible. They're cursing. Shut up. Right. Just shut the hell up. <laughs> if you don't have a scripture, shut the hell up. We don't want to hear nothing from you. Mm. Yep, yep. That's what we just said. Yeah. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Finish that up. Good. Produce your cause, Good. saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Bring forth your strong reasons. Bring forth your strong reason, because everything our reason is going to be out of this Bible. Your reason is out of Christianity and emotion, mm -hmm. okay, and feelings. That's what your 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 um reasoning is going to be. Mm -hmm. Good. Saith the King of Jacob, let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. Uh huh. Let them show. Shoo, excuse me, let them shoo the former things, uh -huh. what they be, that we may consider them. Go ahead, Cap. So let's, you know, as we, as we, you know, being that we are the newscasters of Israel, we bring those things, those news uh, articles and news dealings that directly and indirectly affect our people. So what we have here, some of you may recognize these two women that we're about to show. They were the two... Uh, Heckle and Jekyll, <laughs> who Damn. were who were Ren and Stimpy, yeah, Ren and Stimpy, who were who were <laughs> campaigning for Donald Trump. Yep. Okay. So what we have here is some more cooning and buffooning, mm -hmm. more people that hate their people. So let's see what they got to say. Let, let's go to the video. Let's let's let the video speak for itself. Hey y'all, I'm sit. sitting up, minding my business, uh -huh. getting ready for the inaugural, uh -huh. trying on my dress, and yeah. I realized I done ate a cupcake too many. Uh -huh. Okay? <laughs> and now hey, here's something on, that Stop comes across. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think it might be too early for this video, man. I mean, they they're two grown women named Diamond and Silk. What are they, former strippers? <laughs> Damn. How you a grown woman hey, named Diamond and Silk? Bro, you cannot mix, right, you cannot right, mix right. this like, up. Like you an old washed up salt and pepper wannabe <laughs> rap group. Damn. Diamond and Silk. Come, Diamond and Silk. Come out to the theater Town 357. They, yeah. they, used to, they dropped a mixtape off at, Di at Donald Trump's office hoping that he put yeah. them on. Yo, you cannot make this stuff up, man. Diamond and Silk. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the reason we're playing it is because they were so relevant during his campaigning. Yeah. They were rooting for him. Oh, hey, you know who they remind me of? You remember in um Trading Places when when Eddie was in jail and the one was talking to him and the other one was like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. What'd you do? That's, yeah. How'd you beat him up? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's what they remind me of. Yeah. yeah, like one is the hype hype woman yeah. and the other. Yeah, she just do ad libs. Uh -huh. the hell is this? I tell you, man. Yeah comes across my TV about Congressman John Lewis mm. on television yeah. delegitimizing <laughs> our president-elect, <laughs> soon to be the 45th president of the United States once he's sworn in on January the 20th. Mm. Yeah, he has a problem with him, okay? <clears throat> now, with all <laughs> due respect, yeah. Congressman John Lewis, uh huh. we know that you are a civil rights icon. That's right. You march with Dr. Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. You walk hand in hand with Senator Jeff Sessions. Uh -huh. Yes, you did. Even though you threw him under the bus That's right. the other week. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah, you did. Uh -huh. That's what you did. We know hey, that stop, you've stop, done stop, all stop, of these stop. things. And they mentioned Jeff Sessions. That's the that devil from Alabama. Alabama, yeah. yes. I just want to make he's mention. Gonna, he's going to be the, the The one that want to be attorney general. Attorney general. He's going to be yes. attorney general. They are from Alabama. Alabama. Yep. Yes. They're from Mobile, if, correct me if I'm wrong. They're from Mobile, Alabama. And let me tell you, Alabama is one of the racist yeah. states oh, yep. man. in yes, the country. Is. Hey, last year, we have we have a new an article where there was frame, the cops was framing black yes. men yes. Yes. from Alabama. Yes. In Alabama. Yep. And they were putting them in jail. Put drugs on them, put guns on them. We had an article, but hey, but they're defending, they're now defending, defending, Jeff they're they're defending, defending the white man. You cannot make this stuff up. Play it. Go people ahead. that hate <laughs> their yeah, own we, people. Yep. Respect that about you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what you got to understand is Obama has had eight years. Eight years. The American people gave him eight years. Eight. And it's sad <laughs> that you won't even give President-elect Trump eight minutes. 
Hmm. Without trying to throw him under the bus. That's right. Talking about stuff that you really don't know nothing about. Hmm. That's what makes it sad. You know, this is not about black, white, or pinstripes. Mm -hmm. This is about we, the American people, yes. and who we voted for. That's right. We voted for Donald J. Trump. Stop. And by you. By the way. Donald Trump lost the popular vote. That's right. Your vote didn't mean a damn thing. If this election didn't show you that your vote don't mean nothing, you dead asleep in Babylon. Your vote don't mean crap. The electoral votes is what counts. Okay? <sighs> and as you can see, they're talking about we the American people. No, you're the damn nigga on the bottom. The American <laughs> people are sitting on top of you. Right. Hey, she said, <laughs> you are the nigga on the bottom to drink damn Kool-Aid out of a damn champagne glass. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. damn, that's Judah right there. You, you drink Kool Aid out, out of a, a champagne, champagne glass. glass. That's making it sophisticated. Really? Gosh, I'm not gonna lie. For the first time, I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like the 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 the, the Negro dumb. It's like you can't even fathom it. Like I, a ne the Negro was made in in the factories right. of America, man. I am speechless. Hey, and they had kids. Oh yeah, so you know how they raised women up. had kids, man. Yeah. By some weak ass bro, you could tell these uh, if they're married, if they, I, I doubt it. But if they're married, they got some oh, weak I ass men. Oh, I guarantee you, these two women single. Men. I guarantee you, this, what men want to go home to this? A weak, a weak, a weak ass man. Dude that carry makes his wife carry his balls in his pocket. Yeah, in her purse. In her purse. Yeah. Yeah, they got yeah. transferred from his mama to his wife. Hey, hey, baby, got my balls. I'm trying to go to play some basketball. Can hey. I have my balls? <laughs> no, you, have, you already have a ball on the court. You don't need none. You don't need no more balls. You, you got a ball on the court. Put that ball in the basket, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what, do, what do you get? At, hey, what do you get out of this? So y'all didn't get the position. He gave it to Amahosa. Was that what y'all was hoping for? Yeah, that's what he was hoping for. That's what you were to hoping for? To be part of his bed winch crew. I don't even think he shot y'all a damn $50 bill worth of EBT. Hey, look at her hair. <laughs> look at her hair. <laughs> Wash. Look she at the look, face. Damn. Yo, she look like uh. What, what, hey, what was that, that girl that Woody Wood Pecker? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, but she looked like Woody really, Pecker. Hey, if you really look at their, their, their features, their faces, what? Only a sick brother could be attracted to that. Right. That loud mouth. The neck that rolling. manly spirit. That's what I'm saying. Man, who, what Ooh. man want to go home to this? Hey, some of you brothers are crazy enough. These are the kind of women you brothers lay down with, man, right, right, and, and have right. children to produce with, man. Right. Leave these these devil women alone. To get man. themselves right, man. I gotta, gotta say this. Right. I gotta say this. This is the thing the Israel have been saying for years. Mm. You cannot rule a kingdom with those type of women. Right, 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 right. right, right, right. You want us? Listen. I don't care what any of you say. The prophecy is going to come to pass. After this, this white devil go down, you are looking at the man who's going to rule the kingdom. That's, That's right. right. And guess That's what? Right. I hate to tell you this: we cannot rule a kingdom with this type of mentality, with our woman think like that. Because I, oh, hey, I said this a couple of weeks ago, and I know some of you was mad. If it, if most I live this, if it was up to the black woman, would have been still in slavery today. Right. Hey, I'm not saying all your sisters. Hey, that's not what I'm saying. Some of your sisters, if it was up to you, we would have still been in slavery today. That's right. I'm just tell. Hey, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying why it is. It is what it is. Because this woman, this woman, their mind for me is to stay in Babylon. That's right. Their mind for me is the white men don't do nothing to black people. The white men is God. We uh, let's just stay at the bottom. And, Keep and hope we, alive. And we comfy right under, uh, right yeah. under his behind. We comf we comfortable right under the white man. That's some of our sisters. That is the truth. They love Babylon. And these two women come from one of the most racist states in the United States of America. So you know what that means, D? These sisters have been, like a lot of our people in that state of Alabama, because yeah. we go and teach there. They've been grounded into powder, man. Right. They've been grounded into freaking powder. You know how many of our people got lynched in Alabama? Yeah. <laughs> you know how many of our people got lynched, got murdered, got raped in the state of Alabama? Uh, but these two women come from there. As, as far as they're concerned, listen, there's uh, 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 black, white men, white people don't do nothing to black people. <laughs> it's all your fault. Yeah, we the American people.
in in your black men, you want to rule a kingdom <laughs> with with this type of woman? You crazy. Hey, you get, crazy. Can I get a script? Hey. Go ahead. Two 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 scripts. Mm. Two two quick. You, you got some officer? Yeah. Let me bring this out real quick. And I wanna and I want the listeners them to look and see if this scripture do not fit this two women. Right. Give me Proverbs nine verse thirty, real quick. Just listen good. For real, because I know Alabama w- real good. You understand? The only thing these sisters don't do, they pop on the bars. You understand? And expel. It's this good. Right. Trust me. Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 13. Uh-huh. A foolish woman is clamorous. Just take in that video real quick. You understand? These two women, they are foolish, Moses said. They're clamorous. Come on. She is simple and knoweth nothing. That's hey. what's going on. These two sisters do not know nothing. You understand? They do not know nothing what's going on. I can't to give me Jeremiah. Give me Jeremiah hey, five. Whoa, 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 one whoa, more scripture. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I want to fit stop, it with stop. this guy. <laughs> no, no, no. Officer. Nope, 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 nope. You gotta take the meat out of that scripture, brother. Yeah. Read nope, it nope. again. <laughs> Read that scripture again. No. <laughs> Hell no. You move way too fast from that scripture. No, I didn't want to tie in this with it. Well, I want to tie in this with it. Read that scripture again. <laughs> this has got to sink in. Right. Because you bring the perfect scripture. Mm. Well, read that scripture again. Yeah. Proverbs chapter. Hey, whoever's on the phone, don't call us with your foolishness. We're going to tell you to shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm telling you straight. <laughs> hey, go ahead, read that scripture. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. The Bible said a foolish woman. A foolish woman who don't know nothing. And we're looking at two of them right now. Go ahead. She is simple. The word simple means stupid. She is stupid. A foolish woman, she is stupid. Right. In other words, God is telling you she's an idiot. Those two sisters, they're a bunch of idiots. Bird brains. Dumb as a rock. Mm-hmm. We don't? And knoweth nothing. Oof. God said this foolish woman don't know nothing. <laughs> Woo. Let me tell you. This is most I most I got, man. Mm. Most I got know how to how to how to uh what is what I'm looking for? Define who? Define his people? D- define define his people. Spirits. Right. Yep. Spirits. Right. Foolish, simple, stupid, idiot, don't know nothing, just wanting their big mouth. Mm-hmm. That's, hey, that's why Musa got to say, hey, the men, the 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 flock of my pastures He's are man. men. That's right. Ezekiel, yeah. That's right. That's why he sure. said that. The flocks of my pastures are men. Because if it was up to the black woman, <laughs> whoo, I'd be in chain right now. Right. Right. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, officer. Diggs, you got a quote Diggs, too. I want to tie in this scripture with the same scripture where you just bring it right there. Give me Jeremiah 5, verse 21. Let's do the scripture first and then we can pick up the call. Yes. For real, I want to tie it in. I want to tie it in. That's why I never bring that scripture out so, so clearly. I want to tie it in with it. And look and see if it don't fit these two sisters right here. Oh, yeah. For real. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 21. Uh-huh. Hear now this, O foolish people. Oh, so I said these two sisters are foolish. Right now, come on. And without understanding. This sister do not have no understanding because the Obama in in seed for what eight years, mm. what he did for these two sisters in Alabama. Mm. Nothing more than she have a red hair, like fire in the head top. <laughs> <laughs> so fire in the head top. Come on. That's some real Benji talk right there. Yeah. Fire on our head top. <laughs> come on. Which have eyes and see not. This sister can't see nothing what's going on. They do not look at the news. They just sit down, just hear people talk about the news. And they say, yep, yep. Like Bishop would say, yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Everything they say, yep, yep. Nothing they don't look at. Come on. Which have ears and hear not. They don't even hear what the president said. What he going to do to you niggas in America? Right. You understand? <laughs> These two sisters not listening to nothing. You know what, what they're trying to do? They're trying to look at name. Yes. Trying to get their 15 minutes of faith. <laughs> yep. Trying to yep. look at them. Right. Come on. Mm-hmm. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. This sister do not fear what? This sister do not fear nothing what the president said he going to do to all these brothers and sisters in America. Nothing they don't fear about. Come on. Mm-hmm. Will ye not tremble at my presence? No. With- no. No. Hey. They don't care. At- you know what that reminds me of? Remember when Esther thought 
she was she, because she was in the king's house. Yeah. What was going to happen to the children of Israel? Yeah. What happened to her? Yep. Mordecai had to yep. remind her. Yes. Mordecai yes. 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 Like, yes. like, hey, when Trump built a wall, you think that wall ain't going to keep your body hey, behind hey, out too? Hey, we are the Mordecai. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We, the we Mordecai. are the Mordecai. Right. We're going to remind your Negroes what, what, what's about to happen. Take, yeah. Let's take the call. Let's hey, Shalom call. caller. What's your question? What's your name, question, or comment? Uh, my name is Joe Malachi. And uh, first of all, I just want to thank the Most High for IUIC for waking me up. Now I'm gonna get to the point. Hey, uh, well, I- I'm I'm at work, man. I see all this black women marching for equal rights, and I I want y'all to, if y'all can, expound on that because they got more rights than we got. And and my sister, sister at work, like, oh, it's been happening, and, and, and you know, and I asked her, but what are you marching for? And she couldn't get, give me no answer. I said, we get shot down. It, it's the black man that's getting shot down. If anything, you should be marching for us. And she did not like that one bit. Right. <sighs> real, real quick, but remember, Sisters is getting killed as well. Corinne Gaines. Corinne Gaines. Sandra Bland. Sandra Bland they're getting killed as well. Not not as much as the men because guess what? You know it's the old saying, when you, when you chop off the head, the body falls. So their main priority is destroying the men. Because when you destroy the men, there's no more men in the households anymore. There's no more men to lead the families. But yes, if you when you go back all through history, when brothers was lynched, guess who was lynched right with them? Sisters. And sisters have forgotten that this day. They have forgotten that. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, they because look, look, yeah. Yeah. This, I is, mean, this is who's raising kids I right mean, here. Cap, Boys and girls. I understand what you said, but these sisters, the equal right they're fighting for is not from the white man. Right, mm-hmm. right. Huh. They're fighting for equal right from us. That's right. Let me, let me, I always, I always, let me remind the black woman of something. We always, we always, we have to remind them. Because we say that, right? we always say this. The last time I look, what right did the black man have? <laughs> Zero. D. We don't have no power to do anything. What rights do sisters have that brothers don't? Yeah. Or vice versa? As a matter of fact, the white, the black women have more more power than the black men in America. Yeah. Am I? Am, I mean, because am I? Am I? I mean, maybe it's me. Were, were they? Weren't they just voted the most educated in the country? Bro, like that? last uh, last uh. year, last year, there was an article come out for the first time in the history of America. The black woman was more educated than any woman in the United States of America. Right. Right. Today, you got more black women in college. But you got more black men in jail. What is yeah, right? Forgot that they was on them slave ships too. They, what is right? What is right that your guy, your guy, you want right, you want equal right from the black man? What right did the black men have? Hey, in other no. words, they want to be over the black man. That's what it is right there. You don't want that brother ruling you. That's mm. what and, it boils and, down and, to. And listen, oh, matter of fact, let's get that. Um, Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Here, here's something mm. that. A lot of all right. Thank you, brother, for calling. Here's something that a lot of sisters forgotten. Because they are known as the most educated, you know, uh, have higher, um, I guess, job opportunities than a lot of brothers. This is this is what actually what happened in that process. Ecclesiastes seven seven. Mm-hmm. Ecclesiastes chapter seven and verse seven. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, uh-huh. and a gift. Destroy the heart. Many sisters have been destroyed by the gifts of that educational system. They feel that because they have attained a certain level of, of, of worldly learning, that they now have esteemed themselves above the men. That gift of the education system, that gift of that job opportunity that some brothers may not get, have actually destroyed our people. Mm-hmm. They have destroyed the sisters where they now feel that they are not one with the brothers anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm now over him. I could do bad all by myself. Right. That nigga can't tell me what he to do. He can't tell me what to do. You see that thing? Because that gift has destroyed their hearts. That's right. But, but Cap, the yes, funny sir. thing is, is the black woman who think like that. Right. The white woman don't think nah, like that. Nah, nah, right. not at all. You will never hear the white woman say, I can do better than all by myself. Right. But the white woman push it on the black woman. Hey, you ever seen a Chinese woman singing that song? Nope. <laughs> nope. Hey, where, was this, where were they created at, though, Cap? Right. In America. In America. In this, is what, this is something created by America. America. Can right. we get a script on that? Deacon, are you moving on to something? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah 31, 22. Hey, before you even get that, don't mm-hmm. go nowhere. Okay. But before you even get that, where's the, the, um, 
the Chinese version of Beyonce's single ladies. Song. Where's that at? Where's the Where's the independent uh, woman's anthem for the East Indians? The Chinese woman singing to the left, to the left. Yeah, where's that at? Ling Ling. You're not going to see the Chinese. You're not even going to see the white men singing like the white woman singing like that. I can do all better by myself to the left. Mm-hmm. I only got I only got another one at the door. Hey, matter of fact, that <laughs> you're right. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, yeah. You I got another one better than man. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you're absolutely right. Teachers man. hold Damn. You, d- 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 is there a Chinese Tyler Perry that makes a movie called I Could Do Bad All By Myself? Nope. He's getting all the Chinese women's money? Damn. Nope. No. Guess what? You cannot rule a kingdom with those type of people. Right. They have, they got to go. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, I know people thinking we hate our people. We, we love our people. We, we wish each and every one of our people would repent. These two sisters right here, we wish that they would repent. But guess what? If they don't repent too, hey, they got to go. Because I'm telling you, we're not going to go in the kingdom of heaven with this type of woman. Because they're, they're going to bring you right back to Caesar. No, they got to go. Go ahead, go ahead officer. Uh, Jeremiah 31, 22. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 22. Mm-hmm. How long will thou go about, O backsliding daughter? Come on. For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. So today... Babylon, America has created a new thing amongst the daughters of the nation of Israel upon this earth. We're looking at it. We're looking at Bam. it now. Hey, what did, what did you say, Officer Barnaby? You said, well, they're fire tops, right? Right. <laughs> That's a fire top. Come on. A woman shall compass a man. A, a woman shall do what? Compass a man. How do they do that? Education. They get the top jobs. Okay. They're in an office with Trump. Okay. A a um, what is that? What else is that? What welfare? That's the, that's the proof right there. The Bible is a true book. Right. Most I got say you a woman in the last days a woman shall come past him and we look at that right now. Right now. That was Jeremiah right. thirty one. The black woman come past the black man. Right. They're more educated. Right. You got more of them in college. You mm-hmm. got the black man in jail. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's the truth. The Bible is a true book. Right. Then then what I what I what I don't get is why are your guys fighting against the black man. Hmm. We de- we're not the one who, we're not the one who keep you from sixty days. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we have it worse than anybody in the right. Amer- in America. Right. So you, why are you mad at us? We ain't keeping you back. We ain't keep. As a matter of fact, we're not even want to keep you back because we locked up. Right. And you, you know how they say uh, kick a man when he's down. So yeah. we're already getting beat down, yeah. and y'all marching against us against while we're already us down. While we're right. down. That makes no, no sense. Damn sense. Right. I believe we got a phone call. <sighs> Hey, Shalom Caller, what's your name, question, or comment? Shalom, Shalom, most high in Christ bless. This is Sister Janae. Um, I just had a comment based on, you know, how lost our women are out here because I heard this brother speaking last night. Well, not really a brother because he's lost in that Egyptology, but he made a very valid point about how, you know, that feminism movement birthed the disintegration of the so-called black family when they started to get into the minds of our black women. Then bringing it up into time, they created that movie called The Color Purple, whereas you had the destruction of the black woman because they called her black and ugly because she was doing what she was supposed to do to take care of her family. And then you had the destruction of the woman based on the black man, where you got her, where you got her calling her mister. So then now you have mister, okay, which takes you back to that slave mentality of master because you have master out here taking, uh, excuse me, taking advantage of the woman. So then that's when you make that correlation. Then you have Mr. who is taking advantage of, of the wife, have Mr. taking advantage of the little sister. So then that's when they really started to say that really it's the black man that's destroying y'all, when you're not even really thinking about the fact that it was the so-called white man destroying us back in slavery. So he was also talking about how they're trying to figure out how to destroy the black family structure by getting to the man. But they know that the man has so much aggression that he's not going to let that happen. He's not about to let you up in the family because as soon as you start showing them teeth, he's going to get at you. So which is why they started coming at the woman, because then if she's not backing him up, then the family's going to start to fall, just like the scripture say how children are the oppression because women rule it over them. So if they start getting to the woman, then she's not going to have a man back. Then that's when the family structure is just completely obliterated. But I just wanted to comment that. That's all. Most high in Christ bless, brothers. Most high in Christ bless. Hey, um, Christ bless. Can I say something about what she just said? One of the things thing also 
I don't want I don't want this this show to be oh we bashing women woman basher we a bunch of woman basher that's not what we are doing. We always it's at the end of the day he always go back to the black man. Because why? Because most I got dealt with the men first. Let's get that. The 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 flock of my pastor are men. Let's get that. At the end of the day, it start with the men. It start with the black men, the Hispanic men, the so called Native American men. At the end of the day, that's what and, and a lot of time, a lot of time you see you see this woman right here, what we're looking at? What we're looking at is the uh what what's what I'm looking for? Is the result. Yeah. What we're looking at is the result of the black men not step up to the damn plate. Mm. What we're looking at is the result of the black men cannot stand up and tell the woman, shut the hell up right. and do what I say. That's right. Right. That's what you're looking at right there. That's what you're looking at. They emasculate black yeah. men. That's what you're looking at. Only only weak ass yep. men could be around women like exactly. that. Exactly. Women like that, women like that don't want strong men around them. Because they know a strong man will tell them, hey, listen, sister. Be quiet and sit down. Because I heard, I got phone calls where brothers say, my wife mad because I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> my wife mad because I didn't, I didn't want to go vote. My wife mad because I want to keep sobbing. I said, bro. I said, my, oh, oh, he said, oh, my wife mad because I said don't bring Christmas tree <laughs> in the house. I heard brothers say that. And brothers say, oh, I also heard brothers say, well, I had I had to let her have a little let her little fun. <laughs> let her just I just let her have a little fun. Just a little evil. In little other evil. Words. So, so my thing is that at the end of the day, this is what most I got said. Go ahead. Ezekiel chapter thirty four and verse thirty. Thus shall they know that I, the Lord their God, am with them, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Lord. Uh -huh. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture. Are men. You hear what Musa said? The flag of my pastor are who? Are men. You see, you see, some of us. You see, this is that. This is and this is talking about the repented men, the repented Israelite men. You see, we brothers up here. Listen, listen, listen. This is the thing. Me, I'm not gonna shut the hell up. <laughs> Damn right. I'm telling you, my wife can tell you. I'm not gonna tell. You. Hey, listen. I'm like, hey, sister. I don't want to hear nothing. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. The problem we have today, and the white men know that. The problem we have today, we men, we too weak. Your brother's too weak, man. I'm serious. When it comes to the woman, the man is too weak, man. That's right. We, it's time for the black man to stand up and take your wife for place in society, man. That's right. We must, all this thing we talk about the black woman, guess what? A lot of it is the black man's fault. Right. Hey, right, 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 right. A lot of it is the black man's fault because the black men refuse to stand up taking responsibility. Mm -hmm. We don't want to take care of our children. <laughs> we want to sleep with every freaking woman. That, I'm telling the black man. That's, that's what I was going to say. A lot of times, instead of uh, uh, brothers dealing with the problem at home, yep. they go and get a side chick. Yeah. That's it. That's what you do. You go and say, you know what, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going to go to my side chick. Nah, you're supposed to deal with that thing in the house, man. Deal. She's a dragon. You got to deal with her. You got to deal with the dragon. You got to right. deal with it. Right. But you're so busy being weak and want to run from the... Listen, at the end of the day, one thing brothers don't want is responsibility. Yeah. That's right. The responsibility is, listen, you ought to order and command your house. Hmm. That's the responsibility God... He's, he, God says, I'm dealing with you men. Because you men are the beginning of it all. Right. He didn't make Eve first. He made the man first. Right. So he's beginning all of his dealings with you. So now instead of you dealing with what he gave you, you run to a side chick. Yep. So all that dragon is doing is becoming more rough now. Right. Because because you run into the side. She know hey, about the side hey, you're chick. You giving her bullets. Yeah. Yep. Hey, can I get a script? Real quick? Hey, before yeah. I get a script, yeah. Yeah, yeah. can I say something? Yeah. And, and, and believe it or not, believe it or not, Cap, Majority, ninety percent of our women want a man who want to take the lead. Mm. Yeah, they want to follow. They're made to follow. They're women made to follow. made to follow. The problem is with our community. The black women don't want to follow the black men. Why? Because the black men don't want to stand up and be men. The black women will follow something. They're just not gonna follow you, Negroes, because you don't want to take responsibility. You don't want to take care of your kids. 
You don't wanna. You don't. You don't wanna. You, you just wanna be out there. And, you got a forty ass you old man in the damn club, playing right. video game. Oh, playing video game. <laughs> playing video yeah. game in the damn barber shop. You know one of his mouth yeah, about yeah. basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Co- Kobe Bryant have. Fo- Kobe Bryant have forty point last night. Right. Shut the hell, Shut hell up, man. Right. White man ruling the damn world. You talk about uh, uh, basketball yeah. in the in the damn barber shop. Right. Shut the hell up right. and hell get a it? job. Take care of your family, man. Right. That's right. Yes. Yes. Hey, <laughs> let me get a script, man. Yes, sir. Titus chapter 2, verse 6. That's right. right. Bring it out. Let's go to the book of Titus. Let's see the, the criteria for a man, a young man, actually. Let's find out. Mm-hmm. Titus chapter 2 and verse 6. Hey, and like, and like Deke been bringing out, man, a lot of you brothers, you push these sisters yeah. into that kind of thing, man. Yeah, right. I'm telling you, you these two women, these sisters, a black man push these two women into that crap. Right. I'm telling you. Now, they either hate black men. Yep. Well, they do hate black men and love the damn enemy. Yep. The enemy they take the enemy's handouts, man. Hmm. Read. Yes, sir. Titus chapter 2 and verse 6. Young men, likewise, exhort to be sober-minded. The first thing you got to do is be sober-minded. Stop uh, getting a, drunk. Stop getting drunk. Stop getting high. High. The black men smoking. You got the black men smoking weed every day. Pops you wake pills. up smoking Smoking weed. Negro, when you're going to be a man, when you're going to wake up and be a man, stop being a little boy. That's right. Because the problem, I'm telling you, the problem we have in our black community, we have too many boys. Right. That's right. When you're going to be men, That's stand right. up as a man, you got a grown ass man, 40 years old, he's in the club. With his pants below his ass. His pants below his butt. <laughs> Come, are you serious? Hey, so, we see showing your dirty yeah, drawers. Yeah. We see it every Saturday. Nobody want to see you dirty drawers. We see, we see old men out there sagging their pants, hat to the back. Bro, smoking a blunt. You remember last a couple of weeks ago what we saw? We saw a grown ass man sitting in a baby crib. I got the picture on my phone. <laughs> hey, I'm going to say it again. Last couple of Sabbaths ago, we saw a grown man, gray, grayer beard than mine. He was in a baby stroller just chilling, listening to us. Baby, he's sitting in a baby stroller. He was in a baby <laughs> stroller. A grown ass man. In a baby stroller. In a baby stroller. I got the picture to prove it. Yeah, you got a 40 year old man want to be a rapper. Hey, he was Judah, by the way. I was no, he put wasn't. put it in the telegram. But How do you know he was a Jew? <laughs> you know he was Judah. Hey, don't worry about all that. His spirit bore witness with Judah. Damn. All right, finish the scripture, brother. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> bro, you dirty. <laughs> Titus chapter 2 and verse 6. Yeah. Young men, likewise, yeah. exhort to be sober minded. Read. In all things. In how many things? In all things. In all things, brothers. Showing thyself a pattern of good works. That's the laws of God, man. You got to show yourself a pattern of the works and the laws of God. Not in a club. Not right. having to hide your phone from your woman because right. you got a, 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 a couple sisters calling you at 2 a.m. in the morning. Right. Your phone buzzing at 3 a.m. in the morning. Mm-hmm. Read. In doctrine, showing uncorruptness. Showing what? Uncorrupt. Hey. Deacon always tells us, man, listen, your woman can hold the gun. Just don't right. give her any damn bullets, man. Mm. You got to remain blameless. You give her the ammo. Yeah. Don't give her no ammo. So if you're having a problem with your woman and then you go run to the, and run to the to hell with her, I'm just going to get a side chick behind her back and right. cheat on her. You giving her ammo against you, man. That's right. Go ahead. In uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. Sincerity, go ahead. Sound speech. Sound sound what? Sound speech. Not cussing your woman out. Not telling her she's a a, a, a bee and a, a hoe and this and that. Not verbal abuse. Go ahead. That cannot be condemned. Your behavior should not condemn you, right. brothers. Because guess what? Sin is like, what is it? Uh, uh, cancer cells. Right. You already got it in you. Right. But now something's got to activate that sin to make you go into that thing. So now you verbally abuse your woman. You do certain things, cheat on her and all of that. What can happen with your woman now? Mm. She go do the same thing. You turn. I, I'm going to go sleep with that nigga's best friend. Right. He did it to me. I could do it he to him. He did it to me. I'm going to get him back. I'm going to take his best friend from him. Because, hmm. hey, we all know women are more vindictive than the men. Right. Yep. More calculating. Scripture They're more says, calculating. Scripture says there's no wickedness like the wickedness of a woman. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Mm. Um, where we at? We gonna finish this? We ain't even finish this thing yet. <laughs> I don't even want to see you anymore. <laughs> well, we got we got uh, uh something with Trump, we right? We got a phone call. Oh, we got a phone call. Before we answer, can I just one scripture? Second Ezra, chapter ten, verse thirty-three. Second Ezra, chapter ten, and verse 
33. Hey, and before you even get that, I noticed on a Periscope, whenever we talk about the women, uh, uh, it's always, y'all women bashing, y'all women bashing. When we get on the men, it's silence. I saw. You know, I'm you know so that, glad, right? I'm so glad you're bringing this out. Yeah, I saw. I, yes, well, I'm so glad you brothers are bringing this out about the black man. <laughs> Listen, man, we get on a both of y'all. Right. But it only seems that it's a problem when you get on a woman. Hey, right. The right. truth is, <laughs> we got some niggas and we got some nigglets. Nigga, That's the nigga, truth. <laughs> nigglets. Nigglets. We, we equal opportunity. Niggas and right. nigglets. Opportunist right. offenders. Right. Whatever you want to call right. it. Right. And right. we got to get with both of them. Yeah. Niggas and nigglets. Right. We got to go. I love black people, but I hate niggas and nigglets. That's right. <laughs> Read that. Second Ezra, excuse me, Second Ezra, chapter ten and verse thirty-three. Uh-huh. And he said unto me, "Stand up manfully." How should his brother stand up? Stand up manfully. That's what that's what Deacon and the captains were going into. Right. You men are are like little boys. Remember, uh, was it Luke seven? Luke seven. Mm-hmm. You're like little children in the, in the marketplace. marketplace. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's what Christ said. Right. Playing right. damn video. Christ games. said you're like children in the marketplace. Damn. Your only concern is doing childish things, yep. man. Damn. It, listen, it takes it takes a real man to stand up. Firstly, Damn. and say I'm going to keep God's commandments. Yep. Firstly, secondly, one of the one of the things are you have to take care of your own house. Other than otherwise, you're worse than an infidel. That's right. So when you keep in God's commandments, you are standing up manfully, as it tells us in was it First Kings two and two? Yes, yes sir. sir. That's what a man is because you have male extremities. Doesn't make you a man. How do we know that? Mm-hmm. It makes you a male. <laughs> it makes you a male, not a man. I right, call right. him a grown boy. You understand? Dang. Because we have brothers out here dressed up like women who have male extremities. Right. right. But you wouldn't know they're a damn man till you see them pissing in the boy in the <laughs> damn stall. Right. You wouldn't know right. they was a man. Damn, right. You sound like you mad. Right. Hey. Yes. This brother. Yes. Here. Yes. yes. So, yeah. so, Damn, the, so, read the scripture again. Yeah, he sound like he pissed. <laughs> what is this? Hey, I never see Because I'm tired. I'm tired. Ty- listen, yeah. I'm tired. Ty- you know why? Yeah. Yes, I'm pissed. Right. I'm tired of these grown ass men Bring acting like boys. Bring man. it out. Yes, right. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing grown men combating the Bible when the Bible is here for your betterment. That's right. right. The Bible fixes you, fixes your marriage, fix your community. Right. But you want to be a Negro walking up and down with your damn pants below your butt. Bring it out. Hey, Cap. Hey, you know what brothers think being a man is? <laughs> I could drink more than you. <laughs> what kind of garbage is that? I could outdrink that yeah. bro- that man right there. That's what being a man That's is. That's what being a man is, yeah. Damn. That's Foolishness. What being, a man being a damn child. I believe we got a phone call. Let me take the phone call. Hey, Shalom Caller, what's your name? Shalom Caller, what's your name, question, or comment? Shalom, Most High Christ bless. This is Kazak from IOIC Philly. Hey, Shalom, hey, brother. Shalom, most High Christ bless you. Most High Christ bless. I wanted to make a comment. Um, First, it's, it, what y'all bringing out is heavy because just I was just going over something like this with a sibling of mine. Uh, my sister, she has three master's degrees from Temple, and she three. read the scriptures long. Dang, uh, three masters? Three. She has three masters. Hey, that's degrees like that Kanye from West Temple. album. <laughs> from just Temple. Keep getting <laughs> Temple is one of Temple is one of the top school. Wow. Damn. Uh, oh, trust me, it, it's gonna get good real quick. Uh, long story short, um. She was in the scriptures way before I was. She learned that she was an Israelite um, through my uncle, which is within another camp. Um, uh, she meets an Edomite, um, gets married, have children by him and everything. Mind you, I said in the beginning, she knew the scriptures way ahead before I did. So um, I try to come to her about the scriptures later on. And she comes to me, uh, you know, she's like, I don't want to hear that Bible, blah, 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 blah. I got three master's degrees. You can't tell me nothing. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, in other words, the white man is God. Right. So what I said was, I said, okay, I can't tell you anything. She said, no. Egyptology is the way to go when all this is stuff following. following, 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 Oh, hey. Oh. Can I get something on that? Real quick. Real quick. She says that the Bible, she says that the Bible comes from the book of the dead. I said, okay. I said, does the book of the dead, I said, so if the book of the dead is what we're supposed to follow, uh, what's your nationality? She can't answer it. Uh, damn. Hey, I want to bring Isaiah one and three. And she got. And you yeah, correct me if hey, I'm wrong. You said she got an Edomite. She married an Edomite. Yes. Yeah. Um. And the crazy thing is, how she found out. She called me all excited, like I was gonna be okay with it. And <laughs> she called me. She called me. They did Ancestry.com. She called me one day. I'm on the plantation. She said, "Oh, oh, I got some good news. We, we did a family trace with him. Um, his dad, dad had uh, land in South Carolina and all." So I said, "Oh, okay." She's like. Um, 
So yeah, his dad is white. His dad is white, and they had plant. They owned the plantation in um uh, in Georgia. What the I, hell? I, my head turned. Like, wait a minute, what? I said, so he's an Edomite, and she said yes. And, and the crazy thing is, like I said earlier, she knows the scriptures, and for her to know what an Edomite is, and she still goes along with now. She's on, what's this, the third child by him now. Damn. And I totally cut her off, but um, I have family members that still dwell with them, and I, you know, I brought them. I gave them what's the scriptures I give them? Exodus twenty three and two. You know about dwelling with people in the midst of sin. I said she knows the scriptures and choose to be in wickedness, so you can't be around her. I'm well, bro, there's a difference between uh, what is that scripture in Proverbs said? With all your wisdom, get understanding. Get understanding. Proverbs seven. Our people, our people read the Bible. That doesn't mean they understand it. Right. There's a difference between reading the Bible because I got many phone calls. People say, "Oh, you cannot tell me nothing. I know that Bible." No, you don't. You read the Bible. There's a difference between reading the Bible and understand the Bible. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a quick example. I can go on YouTube right now. Look at how to perform a surgery. Mm -hmm. Is that mean I'm a doctor? No. No, I'm not a doctor. I need somebody to teach me. Mm -hmm. There is a difference between reading and understanding. Our people read it, but they don't understand it. How do you know? Because they're not applying it. That's it right there, dude. Because they're not applying it. That's how you know. They, she know. She know the Bible, but she don't understand it. She read it. She thinks she understand it. And... Uh, and another thing, hey, hey, get, hey, read Isaiah one and three. Gotcha. This is for your sisters who got who got fifteen master degrees. Mm -hmm. This is what Mosai got say to you. Isaiah chapter one and verse three. This is what Mosai got compare you to. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox know his owner. And the ass his master's crib. Uh huh. But Israel doth not know. You know, you know the ox and the ass is two of the most dumbest animal. That's the most dumbest animal on the planet Earth. Most I got say, I'm going to insult Israel. Mm -hmm. the, the most dumbest animal in the planet Earth know who they belong to. But our people, our sisters, they don't know who they belong to. The most dumbest animal. Mm. So which you, you can have a hundred master degree, but most I got say, you dumb as hell. You're an idiot. Right. Hmm. That's what most I got say. So your master degree doesn't mean anything. And And... You action show it. You 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 dumb. Hey, hey Deacon, doesn't the, the scriptures let us know that the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God? Yeah, right. exactly. Hey, hey, that's what I got right here. First <laughs> Corinthians three. That's yep. what I'm waiting on. Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get to First Corinthians three for the count. First Corinthians three. Start at verse eighteen. First Corinthians chapter three in verse eighteen. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Uh, three and eighteen. Oh, excuse me. 3 and 18, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world. So now, that's what many of our brothers and sisters of the collegiate academia are. They're wise in this world. Do we have brothers in the truth in college? Did you Absolutely. Just say, did you just we got brothers with master's degrees in college too. Collegiate academia? Yeah, yes. I, don't, I don't want to show my collegiate side. That's, you know what I'm saying? I don't like, I don't that's like not a that Negro out. word, man. <laughs> I don't like bringing that out. You know what I'm saying? Prophet of the Lord, I ain't trying to exalt that side of me. You know what I'm saying? Did he just <laughs> using big word here? Yes. <laughs> hey, break it down in layman's form, Cap. Collegiate academia. You break. see what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't I don't like talking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Break it down for him, Cap. What's that mean? What is collegiate <laughs> academia mean, brother? Because that's not those, a good word. Yeah, this, this is college academics for, to, for higher learning. That's yes, why don't you just say college <laughs> academics? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Hey, I spoke in a parable, brother. All that's friends. a deep parable right there, man. <laughs> right, right. Hey, but you know what? The funny thing is, hey, her three degrees going to burn just like everything exactly. else. That's right. That's right. Exactly. No degree going to be out of here. Exactly, right, exactly. Go ahead and read that again. <laughs> Yo, Deacon crazy. First Corinthians chapter 3 and oh, verse man. 18. Let no man deceive himself. Nah. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, wise in this world, let him become a fool. So now our job is to become a fool. So the brothers, like I said, they are brothers and sisters in the truth who go to college. But the scripture says, let him be as a fool, meaning to humble yourself as a child. Mm -hmm. Like you don't know anything when it comes to this Bible. Mm -hmm. You don't exalt your worldly wisdom over the Bible, the wisdom of the Lord, in no way, shape, or form. Read. That he may be wise. So you, you, you decrease your worldly wisdom in order to be increased in godly wisdom. 
That is what all our jobs are supposed to be, no matter what level of higher learning you're, you're at. Whether you, you never graduated high school, your high school, your college, your master's degree, you're supposed to decrease that worldly wisdom when it comes to God's word. You can't say, That's oh, right. I'm going into Egyptology because I did my research through my worldly wisdom and found this. That means you're now dumb as a damn rock. That's right. Because you have exalted your worldly wisdom over godly wisdom. Hmm. Read. For the wisdom of this world uh -huh. is foolishness with God. You see that? Most I got don't give a damn about your 15 master degrees. Right. He could care less. Hey. Because guess what? You have 15 master degrees, but you can't tell us who you are according to the Bible. Right. Oof. Right. Hey, hey, Cap. Hey. hey, it's just like that Kanye West first album, man. Huh? Mm. It's just like that thing. Maybe just kept getting degrees and getting degrees and getting degrees. Oh, thank you for calling, brother. Thank you. Th I'm sorry. Thank you for your calling comment, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no Thank you. All praises. Shalom. 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 Hey, that album was her theme music when she was getting all them degrees, man. Yeah, man. Hey, can, can I get you done with that, Cat? Uh, just finish that verse out. Finish 19 mm -hmm. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Because guess what? The Most High has been taking the wise in their own craftiness for a very long time. He's done it to the Egyptians. He's done it to the Babylonians. He's done it to uh, the Greeks. He's done it many, many times. He's taken them. He's taken those who've exalted the wisdom in Greece. Remember, Judas Maccabeus was slaying them. Right. They were slaying all these Israelites that thought they knew something by going with the king's wisdom. Mm. Remember when we started? We started exalting the wisdom of Egypt. Most I got killed all the Egyptians. Mm. So he slayed them in their worldly wisdom. Damn. Hey, how many videos do does IUIC have up destroying Egyptology, bro, bro. <laughs> destroying Islam, <laughs> destroying Christianity? He yeah. slays you in your worldly wisdom yes. because those wisdoms are not of the Lord. Absolutely. They're of the world. Those are new gods in the earth. Mm. Finish that out? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise. Wait a minute. The Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, those who have the worldly wisdom. Go ahead. That they are vain. You went into Egyptology. That's vain as damn, hell. That's damn, th damn. That is a prophet. You ain't getting no hey. kingdom following Egyptology. Hey. We got another phone call? Officer Barnes. Can I get something? Give me Proverbs 27 real quick. Proverbs chapter 27. Yeah, for the sister, the brother from Philadelphia, just called just now. I know we got another phone call. Just hold on one Let's second. Let's give it this real quick. Yeah, Officer <laughs> B, you was going to Philly a few times, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Officer yes, B was out there yes. putting in work in Philly. Yeah, that's man. right. Yeah. yeah, I've been in that school over there, too. All praises. All praises. Yeah. 27 and. Yeah, verse, verse 3. Verse 3. Yes. Just listen, it's good. It's just mm -hmm. one verse I want. This verse. Come on. Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 3. Uh -huh. A stone is heavy. So everybody understand about a stone when you see a rock. You understand to pick that rock up, you know you gotta put some weight. Mm -hmm. If it's a size where your mind tell you to that you can live it up, right? Come on. And the sand weighty. Sand is weighty. Cause a ton of sand, trust me, you cannot live it up by yourself. But listen right. what God said. But a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. That's the sister. That's your sister Damn. over there. God said she know. You said she know the Bible, but God said right. she's a fool. She's heavy. Damn. Than the stone and the sun. That's that's, that's what God said. Hey, Shalom Caller, what's your name, question, or comment? Shalom Leadership. This is Nehemiah from, uh, from here with you all. Um, my question is so, based on the way the women are acting, that's and what the word says, that is our punishment for being in our right place, like you're saying, because we're not, we're not keeping the law. So, the Most High has punished us by putting a woman over us. Hey, I got one scripture for you. Psalms 82. Right. Hmm. Psalms yep. 82 and verse 5. <laughs> God praise. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 5. Uh -huh. They know not, mm -hmm. neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. Uh -huh. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Everything in this earth is out of course. Why? Because the ones who should be the gods on the earth are out of course. That's right. Read, I want you to read verse 5 and now verse 6 with in me. In other words, everything turned upside down. Everything mm -hmm. is upside down, including the household. Yeah, that's the right. The book of Isaiah also told you that. Right. Mm -hmm. Everything is upside down. So read 5 and 6 together now. Mm -hmm. Psalms chapter 82, verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. Uh -huh. They walk on in darkness. Uh -huh. 
All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Now, verse 6 is going to prove one of those foundations that's out of course. Go ahead. I have said, ye are gods. Wait a minute. Is that now out of course? Because yeah. we on the street like niggas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we on the street like trap boys. We on the street like stick-up kids and drug dealers. So obviously, the ones who God has called to be gods are out of course. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the whole earth is going to be? Yeah. The and, men, and the woman. In other words, the men who are supposed to rule the earth is out of order. Mm -hmm. So the whole earth is out of order. Right. Those, we, we are the men who are supposed to rule the earth. So if we are out of order, what do you think going to be? Our woman is out of order. Our children are out of order. The whole earth is out of order. Because in reality, the whole earth is supposed to follow the Israelite man. That's we, right. Because the Bible said, then Christ said, we are the light of the world. We are That's the light right. of the world. We are the light of the world. So if the light is in darkness, guess what? The whole earth in darkness. The whole earth is in darkness. Hmm. The nations the, are not in their uh, no. proper position. No, they're, they're not. Be, the nations are supposed to be under you. Right? Yeah. But they're all over you now. They're over right. you. Why? Because you are out of order. Right. Once, guess what? Once we get in order, the whole earth is going to be in order. That's right. That's right. This uh, I always said the Israelite is the is the is the garbage collector. The cart, right. The cleanup crew. We are the cleanup crew. Right. That's right. Every single foolishness you see going on right now, guess who gonna guess who's gonna clean it up? Yes. We are. That's because right. us, once once we took over, listen, listen, the foolishness stop. The foolishness stop. Yes. Because we we're not gonna play no game. We're going to clean all this foolishness you see going on right now in the earth. Is We're going to clean it up. That's right. We out of order. The earth is out of order. That's what happened. So so that means how we read that a woman can pass a man, that's going to go back to its rightful place where God set up the man over the woman. Yep. That's going to go back to its rightful place. Mm -hmm. The nations ruling over us, that's going to go back to its rightful place. We, need, we shall rule over these nations. Mm -hmm. The earth, once you get in order, the whole earth will be in order. You've been in order, yeah. Because it was created for your sakes, Hell, even for animals, our sakes. Even animals hey, hey, give me that. That's what I was about to pull. Like, <laughs> give me that scripture. Romans 8. Romans 8. Give me that scripture. I'm going to show even, you. Even the Ernest, animals. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm right. going to show you. Damn. Right, right now, there's a, there's a lion yep. in a cage being trained by some white devil. They, they, them animals is out of order. With a whip. <laughs> they, they, animals is out of they, order, there's, bro. There's a devil right yep, now. Yep. Making a lion jump through a damn hula hoop. Bro, that them fish is jumping out of the water. We be like, fish, what you, do, What the hell? Fish, you're supposed to be in the water. <laughs> fish like, I can't breathe it. I can't, yeah, I can't do go, nothing in that water. Go, hey, I cannot breathe. Hey, you see, There's you oil see, in that water. There's garbage. You see, you see how the, uh, they always have reports how a bunch of fish in a yeah. lake wash up on shore and they're all dead. Nobody knows how they're dead. It's because the Negro's out of order. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that dolphin come out of the damn water. Be like, hey. Yeah. Hey, dolphin, what you doing out of the water? I cannot breathe. I can't breathe in that hey, water. Prophet, I cannot breathe. Yeah. Y'all niggas out of order. Out of order. Y'all niggas out of order. <laughs> I cannot, hey. Because of you, I cannot breathe. If you see a bear on a tricycle with a tutu on, <laughs> yeah. the bear is peddling looking at you like you niggas is out of order. Damn. <laughs> the bear peddling. Damn. Hey, the bear look like he want to tear you up. Yeah. He want to tear the trainer up and you. Yeah. And guess Damn. what? It's because the black man is out of order. That's right. Damn. They're them That's animals. Right. They're trees. The trees, man. Trees, yeah. Bro, Damn. they're hey, bro. I went to Jamaica. I went in the backyard. There was a mango tree. Beautiful. They, them, beautiful. There's mango all over the damn place. I'm like, hey, the tree, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to the tree, then you supposed to keep the mango until people come to take it out. Oh, <laughs> the man. Tree, hey, the tree, oh, the tree the just dropped like, its own mango. The tree's like, I gotta drop it because your niggas out of order. Damn. Out of order. <laughs> damn. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, yeah. oh, hey, hey. It's only in America, in Jamaica, everything don't get free. Yeah. Damn. Mango free in America. Yeah. You have hey. to climb a hey. tree to get. <laughs> yeah. Right, bro. Hey, bro. Hey. 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 Yeah. Hey. hey, obviously, I went in the. I woke up in the morning. I went in the backyard. I go Gra get me some grab mango. Breakfast. Just grab breakfast. <laughs> like, Coconut yeah. water. Yeah. 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 I'm walking by. I saw. I saw mangoes on the floor. I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you supposed to keep the mangoes until I come out. Yeah. What the hell is going on here? Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, Captain, <laughs> Captain Shamaya. Yeah. Hey, you can contest to that. Remember when we were walking at Ocho Rios? Right. And there was a, a fruit stand. Oh yeah, I was telling Officer Barnabas about that. So on the way walking. Here. And we were like at least maybe five, three, three to five feet away. Right. right. The pineapples there don't smell like the pineapples here. Man. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell is going on? Yeah, you smell. You <laughs> smelt it like almost a block away. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, is yeah, that fresh, pineapples? Man, it's fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. Esau, Esau, Esau got his hand on them. Right. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Read the scripture, yes, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you what 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 the trees, the animals, 
all of them say. Right. Romans chapter they eight. Oh, 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 th oh, thank you oh. for the call, brother. Shalom. Thank, thank you. Shalom. Uh, Most high Christ bless. Shalom. Most high Christ bless. Thank you for the call. Hey, read the scripture. Romans chapter eight in verse nineteen. For the earnest expectation of the creature Woo. waiteth for the manifestations of the sons of God. Damn. Damn. Bro, I love that scripture. Damn. 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 I got to turn to it. So, I know it, so, but I got to so, turn to so it the, now. So the creatures are waiting for the manifestation. <laughs> hey, that's not an, hey, that's not hey. a, that's not a regular Negro no. word. No. no. Manifestation is not a regular Negro should, should word. Shall I look it up? Let's yeah. look it up. Bro, Damn. Everything is waiting for the revealing. Mm. Of the sons of God. Let's 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 let's, let's, get, let's get the let's get the official. Damn. Let's get the definition. Let's so get you know, it. there's another scripture saying that the land of Jerusalem is crying. Right. Yeah. Yes. Where yeah. the hell? Of, where the hell your Negroes go? Right. Your Negroes put me in pain. Right. 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 The black man, you better come out of that damn barber shop. Stop playing video game. Right. Get yourself right. Right. Get yourself right, man. Pull your damn pants up, man. Mm. Man. Mm. And put Ooh. the damn hey. weed down, man. Hey. And the hey, bring the scripture again. Ooh. Hey, hey what, what you call the scripture? No, I said the definition of manifestation. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Bring it out. Right. Bring it out. <laughs> the definition of manifest. Readily perceived by the eye or the understanding. Mm. Evident. Obvious. Apparent. Plain. Second mm. definition. Let me go to third. Are you sure you got the right definition? Yeah, Come manifest. On. Come on. Manifest. What dictionary are you using? Dictionary.com. Is, is, that, is that okay? <laughs> no. Good. Bring it up. Ver, uh, third. To make clear or mm. evident to the eye ah. or the understanding. To so show it. plainly. So wait. So wait. So let me read it. So it says, for the earnest expectation of the creature mm. waited for the what? Give me a definition. To make clear or to evident. To make clear or evident. evident the of sons, the sons, of sons of God. So, Damn. so wait. Woo. So wait. The world is waiting for the clear evidence of who the sons this of God are. That is. Yeah. Dang. Dang. So wait a minute. So it's not the people in Jerusalem now? Hell no. no. Oh, dang. Hey, read that thing hey, again, hey, man. Read hey, the scripture hey. again, hey. man. For the uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. There's more. Woo. There's because I'm because telling you, I'm <laughs> telling you, Damn. the lion, yes. the elephant, those animals that white men went and took and put them in there, right. talking about hoop, they'll jump through the hoop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. lion said, listen. <laughs> or, or mounted on their wall. Right. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, the heads. Yeah. Yeah. You know them tax, the taxidermists, they stuffed them animals That's and right. put them on the wall. You got a damn hyena smiling. Damn. What the on hell on is this? On, on, on the devil's <laughs> wall. Those animals is <laughs> saying. <laughs> Those animals are saying, when this son of God will reveal, I'm going to kill all of That's you. That's right. I'm going to kill all of you. You, you got a damn polar bear in That's a rich right. Edomite's house in Arizona. Damn. Polar bear ain't no damn Arizona. Right. Damn. Right. Hey, there's more on that. There's more on that, Cap. Hold on. Verse 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This, the creature was made subject to what? To vanity. So wait. When the lion is jumping through a hoop, he was made subject <laughs> to lies. <laughs> You see that thing? <laughs> Even the lion's been lied to. Right. Even the damn seeds that you plant in the earth has been lied to. Right. <laughs> Even damn. even even the things that are created in the earth has been lied to. Yeah. Why? Because the one who created them and made them subject unto them have been liars since the very beginning. That's right. Hey, for real, Cap. <laughs> Come on now, hey, bro. Hey, you got you got you got the you got the 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 dolphin. <laughs> Esau go and took the dolphin. And now they're feeding the death to a little fish to the dolphin so the dolphin can do so the do dolphin run, so the dolphin, the dolphin was like, wait a minute. I was in the middle of the ocean. I can't eat as right. much fish as I want. Right. right. Now you told me little fish here and there. What the hell? Yeah, I gotta wait for lunchtime. Damn. I gotta wait for lunchtime. I gotta wait for lunch. And I gotta <laughs> do Where the hell is hey, the sons of God at? Hey, I gotta do a <laughs> trick to get it. <laughs> to right. get it. Yep. What the hell hey, is the sons of God at? You got yep. damn killer whales in the damn sea world yeah. doing tricks. Tricks. They kill a whale. You are killer whale. <laughs> A killer whale. You ain't you meant to be in captivity. A killer whale. Everything out of order, but, man. Go ahead, officer. Yeah. Not. Okay. Oh, officer Bart, you have something to say? Mind yeah, you, yeah, we, you got, got, we got a phone call, yeah, too, y'all. We got a phone call. Okay. Not willingly. Wait, wait, wait. So the lion didn't sign up to be subject unto the creature? No. <laughs> the lion said, I ain't, I ain't signing <laughs> up for this. <laughs> hey, the lion's like, what the hell is this? I ain't signed up for this. Hey, the bear with a tutu, he didn't say, oh, give me a size 4X. No, I ain't signed up for this. He didn't ask for a 4X tutu? No. <laughs> hey, you got the bear in the dressing room picking out his yeah. favorite tutu. You got the, hey, bro, you got that damn gorilla. You got a gorilla. 
You mm. know, bro, mm. the gorilla mm. that can tear you apart. Right. The gorilla was like, what the hell is this? Yeah. What the hell? I ain't signed up for this. Damn. Hey, but <laughs> hey. Hey, hey finish, finish, real quick. Hey, let me finish hey, it out. There's more. There's hey, more. Listen, finish it out. There's I more. have to pull the scripture right here, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. But by reason of him who has subject and the same in hope, verse 21, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from bondage. So the lion ain't going to be in Esau's zoo forever. Right. Hey, I'm going to make sure my animals get revenge on Esau, right. man. That's oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, hey, yeah. Listen. Damn. Bridget, your, hey, guess what? Yeah. Your three master's degree sister can't explain that right there. Right. Yep. That's right. right. But I'm saying, right? The white man want to put the lion with the tiger. Yeah. Two of them two oh, have sex oh, together. Oh, to meet. Yeah, so right, right, yeah. right, right. We have to pull this scripture. Right. We have to pull this scripture right, right here. You going to this 15? Right. Yes, we, we're going to pull. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull Isaiah 1 verse 9. Isaiah 1 and 9. Let me pull the scripture. For real. One second phone call. One second. One second. We got some, we got some butter's fire coming. coming. Out. Sister, butter's coming out. Yes, a sister called early on and said, a brother. I'm who telling you, you. I'm telling you. Listen. Your black, your black man, I'm yeah. telling you, get yourself in order, man. Yes. yes. You stop progress. Yes. Get Absolutely. You, get 100% correct. In You're order, stopping man. progress. Yeah. Excellent point. You mm -hmm. stopping progress, man. Right. We, we got to get the hell out of here, man. Right. You stopping me from getting the target to tear Esau behind. <laughs> That's right. You slowing it down. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Because I know the lynching mob is coming. I'm going to be like, uh, hold on, hold on. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell call the bear and tear that behind apart. Mm -hmm. Telling yep. you, your, your black man get yourself in order, man. Right. Damn. You the, at the end of the day, you the one to blame. Right. Damn. Because you don't know what you're worth. Right. right. Go ahead. Hey. Yeah, because a sister called Hurley and said, a brother who studied Egyptology was talking about but the, the man ain't in the right place. But mm. well, listen to the scripture. I'm going to put the scripture with that. Come yes, on, read sir. it. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. Really? What, we... what, sorry, what this Bible is telling you if the Mosai never put the Israelite back in place. Egyptology ain't doing nothing. You That's ain't right. doing nothing. That's right. You understand? You don't, you, d you brother, if you leave your brothers alone, the whole hurt in the world. Because remember, is when we leave out of Egypt, right? We get the law, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Because we was following everything what Egypt was doing. You understand? And it's the same thing right now. Same thing. Because Egypt, the only thing what Egypt means is what? It's bondage, right? That's it's right. the same thing going on in America. You understand? Mm -hmm. This is the greatest Egypt you ever see. Yeah, the piece of the herd. Bring it out. You it's understand? Be it's because greatest, what? It's the greatest Egypt. Greatest right. Egypt because what? In ancient Egypt, the animal know their place. Yeah. Animal used to live up with the animal who. <laughs> you see know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Right, 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 right. For real. Yeah, that's heavy. That's heavy. So right now, the scripture we have to pull the scripture to match up with what's going on right now. Read it. Yes, sir. <laughs> we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. If the Mosai never wake up. We as a Israelite, you see the Damn. whole place. Damn. Not because you brothers ain't sleeping with our next brother, but everything is being silent. Hey, nice. Hey, hey officer, it's officer, that slid over their head. That slid over their head. I don't think they caught what you just said right here. You want some of that we gonna, butter? We gonna, you want, I some, want of some of that butter? butter. Put some more butter hey, on hey, it. Hey, we, <laughs> hey you getting jerk they butter right the now. They the butter. <laughs> 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 you getting jerk curry butter right now. Put that, you know, bring that scripture to catch up with this mm. that scripture that said the prophet's not going to be silent oh, yeah. right uh, bring that out bring that and connect it with that What's scripture that? officer just hey one out. second caller we got more <laughs> butter coming out one second we got two call all right let's pick the first one up hey wait hey get the scripture we're gonna get the first phone call go ahead give us the first one hey shalom caller what's your name question or comment name is everard sprout and my comment is that um with Israel united in Christ, what I've seen with a lot of other camps is that they have shown y'all a lot of hate. And I've been listening for like maybe nine months, and I decided to come and join y'all brothers and bringing out this truth. And also, you know, there was a Jewish guy that said, y'all the one most organized camps. And I said to myself, yeah, I see this. And this is why I decided to join y'all. And at the same time, what I want to say is that what y'all are bringing out with the women and, you know, them being out of order. Go ahead, brother. 
you know, and you know, they're they're being very high-minded, very selfish, and, <coughs> selfish, and you know, and I seen a lot of brothers out of order. You know, I'm just riding the bus, the pants hanging down, and I'm just disgusted. Well, bro, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Everything was by design. Everything is by design. Yes, we are, we still under the curse of Deuteronomy, to, uh, Deuteronomy uh, 48. I mean 28. We still under the curse of Deuteronomy 28. But however, remember what the scriptures say, a remnant is going to repent. Not every single Israelite is going to make it into the kingdom that's coming. Right. The scriptures say two out of three of us are going to die. But this, the, those same men you see with their pants below the butt, listen, if they are, if they are one of the chosen ones, they're going to repent. We're not worried. We, we the prophet up here, we're not worried. Because one thing about, I'm glad what you said about IUIC, one thing about IUIC, we build men. We, before, we, before we come in, be, me, I'm speaking for myself, before, before I come in IUIC, I was a little boy. I was a, a man right. in a boy body. I mean, uh, I was a boy in a man body. That's right. right. Bring it out. That's right. But by being around Bishop Netanyahu, Bishop Kanai, these deacons, these captains, they beat me up to be a man. Today, I'm a man because of these brothers. That's, That's right. right. Bring it out. Most I got put me right. around great, great men. And I'm, I'm, and you know, I always say this. From the beginning, I never did, IYC always been my first camp. I never been, and I always, most I got, that's the blessing I, I, I got. Yes. Most yes. I got always put me around great men. That's right. And I'm always grateful. Always grateful for that. That's why we tell every brothers, hey, brother, just be quiet and learn. Learn, learn, learn. What we found out, though, in YouTube, a lot of people don't like us because, listen, when it comes to the law, <laughs> we're not going to bend it for nobody. That's right. That's right. Are you, I see, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not talking, I'm, not, I'm not talking bad about any other camp. With all this, with all, with all due respect, we are about the law of Mosai. We are about Mosai God business. I always say this. A lot of brothers, a lot of sisters, they're not going to stay with IYC because we are too strict. We don't bend no law. We're not like, well, the law said this, but there is no but. Whatever the law said, that's what we're going to do. That's it. And we, hey, we the only camp who shut the whole school down. Right. Right. Because they get right. out of order. Yep. Right. I'll Absolutely. praise it for that. I'll praise it for that. Right. That's right. <laughs> and, I'm telling you. And in that video that, that Edomite said that. Yeah. He said, yeah, they're willing to shut down entire congregations yeah. if anyone goes contrary yeah. to the laws. Right. That's right. Purity. You That's go what contrary said. to what Mosai God said, we will shut that camp down. That's right. Hey, start all over. Because, listen, when it comes to foolishness, we're not going to deal with no foolishness. We're going to, hey, a lot of people want to know what is the secret of IURC. I just give you the secret. Right. Lord. Damn, I just give you the secret. Oh God. Damn. It's the law. Hey, it's hey, the law. hey, 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 Deke. Didn't Christ say that's a mystery? Yep. What we right. have is a mystery right. in right. first Corinthians. Right. 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 Just give you the secret. Yeah. Keep the laws and teach the laws. That's, that's it. it. That's our secret. That's Keep it. the law and teach the law. And you're gonna see most like God is gonna be blessed. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's what you see. That's why you see how IUIC is growing. Uh thank you, brother, for the thank phone you. call. Thank you for your uh, call, bro. I think we got another phone call. We got another phone call. Man, the line's heating up today. Yeah, all praise. Hey, all praises. Okay, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. soldier. All praise to the Most High. Hey, brothers and sisters, we appreciate all your calls, man, all your calls and comments. We right, appreciate right. it, appreciate it, appreciate it. And we thank you all for always tuning in to Patient Saints Radio, man. This wouldn't be a radio show without y'all, man. So yeah, we they appreciate they not. Yes, yes. Um, soldier, what yeah. you got? We got a call? Okay, we're on this scripture. Uh, we're back. Isaiah 1 and 9, right? No, no, 62 let and 6. Oh, let, let me say something real quick. Yeah, I was watching the... This brother, the other day, is from the Black Panthers. A brother, new group. It was on a Saneda TV, right? Mm -hmm. He said, he ain't going to bash nobody. That's what he said. What he speak about the Israelite. He said, what his name? Ben Benami? Benami. Yeah, Benami. Yeah, he, Benami. See, yeah. he said, he see Benami was in great power. But after Benami died, mm -hmm. everything fell apart. You understand? So the brother was saying like, Every time the Israelites rise, whenever they had fall, everybody fought. Not IUIC. No. Nope. I'm just telling you that's straight right, up. That's I'm right. Because we have a leader. The leader said, when he died, I have nothing happened to him. Trust me. That's why he said, oh, man, like, you 
deacons, you captains. He said, when I fall, make sure these things we do more better. That's right. That's, that's what right. he said. But you know, so, our great leader, <coughs> our greatest leader said, <laughs> the gate of hell shall, shall never, prevail. should prevail. not prevail that's against right. these truths. Right. Right. praises. I right. praise it. You can't take the, the gate of hell in, is not going to prevail hey, against you. In other words, Ben Ami was not the leader. No. Nope. He right. was not the leader. Our leader is up in the heavens. I'll praise it. I'll praise it. I'll praise for that. <laughs> he gave us the ball to run with it. Right. That's right. Hey, he's not hey, here I'm right glad now. You, I'm glad you said that. That's hey, right. Hey, hey, I want. I also want that scripture. <laughs> that scripture that's talking about. Um, Find that it. scripture that said about uh, uh, the the gods, the the prophets going to rise up. Uh, what's that scripture? In, um, that scripture that's saying. Uh, if you quote it, good, we find it. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> hey, read that scripture, then I'm going to I'm going to tell you. We got a phone call? I think about it. I oh, we do, I we do got a phone call, too. Oh, we do? Get, get yeah. that scripture real quick. We'll get, get that it. scripture real quick. One second phone call. Some butter's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I think Isaiah exactly. chapter 62 and verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, mm. which shall never hold their peace. Day nor night. Read that again. Read that again. I have set watchmen upon thy walls. Guess who? Guess who the watchman is? You're looking at them right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. That's we right. are the watchmen. We are the prophets. That's right. Yes. Yes. These Negroes you see walking down the street with their pens below the butt, they are the watchmen. Mm -hmm. They just gotta repent. Mm -hmm. We are the prophets. And guess what? We are never gonna keep silence. That's right. We're gonna remind you Negroes every day. Mm. We ain't going to keep silence. Right. Mm. The Bible says we, we should not keep silence. Right. Until when? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Whew. Day nor night, we ain't going to hold our peace. We? Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. You hear that? That's uh, right. Ah. Hey, so, so you're telling me, so you got those people that trim their ways and don't want to correct yes. their people according to the Bible. Yes, yes, the yes. scripture says, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. So your job is to always be a watchman. That's yep. right. Hey, you know how deep that is? 24-7. By us not following that scripture right there, look what it created. It, Woo. Look at the creator Bro, right here. You deep. Damn. <laughs> you deep. Because now, since we keep Wait, say quiet. That again. Say that again. By say that us again. not keeping Isaiah 62 and 6, mm -hmm. we create them strong, manly ass black women right, right here that won't shut the That's hell up. That's the result. Since, right. since, you, since you so damn quiet, the woman took the mouth and now is running nah, her damn yeah. mouth. Yeah, that want to arm wrestle. You see you. that? Hey, and by like, the way, the that's talking is. about the men. It is. That scripture talking about the men. Right. By you brothers, don't know who you are, don't know what you're worth. This is what you created. That's right. right. Damn. That's the result. Yep. Damn. You created a big, a big mouth black woman. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's wanting her mouth for the for the enemy. Right. You created, you created a woman that's wanting is wanting her mouth for the enemy. Mm. Yeah, for the enemy. For against the enemy. you. Now she's saying, nigga, you ain't ish. Right. John Lewis, right. shut the hell up. Right. Now All she's of saying, that. John Lewis. John Lewis, I know you got a lot of history. Shut the hell up. Right. Submit yourself under the under the under devil, the, under the master. Hey, right. And you know what's funny? They are they've turned into the watchmen, like Captain just said. Yeah. But they're the watchmen for Esau. Now, right. damn, damn, your brother <laughs> bringing some, your brother dropping some, <laughs> some bombs butter. today, man. Boom. She's the watchman. For now Esau. your woman turned to now the your woman is the watchman for the enemy. Damn, damn. Mm. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, this, hey. And there's, there's more on that. Yeah. There's more on that. Because earlier, the damn devil put up a comment saying, you guys look comfortable in your chairs up here. I don't know if y'all caught oh, that. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Esau put that up there. You right? damn right I'm comfortable yeah. in my chair. Hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can sit in this chair for three hours. Yeah. My ass don't damn hurt. Right. Hey. Hey. Most high. Hey. Actually, now you sit it. I'm hey. going to hey. sit back. Hey. Hey. Damn right hey, You see, yeah, I be dropping back every once right. in a while. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, hey. I drop back on The it. reason I wanted, I, I said that, though. Check this out. More fire. <laughs> damn. You put it out there? More fire. More fire. <laughs> More fire. The reason I said it, yeah, we, hey, we may be comfortable in our chairs, but we're still working. That's this right. is not our rest. Read the next verse. I'll read it for you. I'll read it for you, officer. And give him no rest. And do what? Give him no rest. So those brothers that aren't supposed to be keeping silent, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't got no damn rest. What are you talking bad. about? We on our job right That's now. Right. That's bad. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing as the watchmen of Israel. Because wait a minute. We left at 2.30 in the morning last night. Oh, right. y'all right. left later than me because yeah. I left at 2.30. Right. And then we were back here at 9? Nine? 9. Oh. Right. 
Some of us earlier. Some right. earlier. So we still doing. There's more in that right. too. Let me like read that, that again. Yeah, Verse right. seven. Mm-hmm. And give him no rest. So we ain't at rest at all. This is not our rest, according right. to right. Micah. Right. Read. Till he establish. Till we do what? Till he establish. Establish mean to what? Set up. Come on. Until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So yeah, right. 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 We ain't resting. That's bad. We yeah. on our job yeah, right now. Right. I like that thing. We yeah. on our job right that's now. That's right. Hey, you ain't high. on your job. That's, that's right. right. That's not right. All, praises. All praises. I like that thing. All praises to the most high. I think Can we I got four. Yeah. four. Obadiah, one in 21. <laughs> that's Obadiah, one in, one in 21. Give me Obadiah you one in twenty one. Hey, yeah, Give oh, me Obadiah saviors. one in twenty one. Yeah, yeah. Caller, just hold on, hey. caller, hold on. Hey, call, hey, caller, some butter coming out. Hold on. Obadiah one in twenty one. What Obadiah one in twenty one say? Hey, in your patience possess ye your soul, caller. Your soul, caller. Oh, soul, caller. <laughs> Let the scripture speak. Yes, sir. Obadiah one in twenty one. Read that. Yes. I got it. I'll read it. Obadiah. Chapter one, verse twenty one. I got it. Obadiah? And saviors. Shall come up. up. <laughs> I got it. Brother, Verse can 21. I, brother, can I, find, can I find Obadiah? And saviors <laughs> shall come up on Mount Obadiah. Zion. Guess who the saviors are? We are. Yes, sir. We are the saviors. Yeah. Hey, did it say savior or saviors? Saviors. And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion. That's the 144,000. Yes, right. sir. And guess who the 144,000 are? You looking at them. Right, right. That's right. That's right. To judge the Mount of Esau. To judge who? The Mount of Esau. That's right. Hey, listen. We're going to judge Esau. Who's Esau? The so-called white man. <laughs> yes, we're going to judge you. For real? You're looking at, you look really? at, hey, those same niggas you think ain't nobody. You think they're, they're a bunch of niggas walking with their pants below their butt. Guess what? They're going to judge you, but. Those are the saviors. We are the saviors. That's right. And we are the saviors. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. What? You see that? The Lord's. That's right. The Lord. The Lord. <laughs> we are the Lord's. <laughs> that's right. They don't understand what's going on. We are the Lord's. <laughs> that's right. That's too much butter right there, that's man. Too, that's too much for you. You see, that's what I said. Your brothers, your black men, you don't know what you're worth, Hey, man. you stopping this right hey. now. You holding up You progress. don't know what you're worth, hey. man. Hey, listen. This is what the so-called white man want. Give me Psalms 137, verse yeah. 5 on hey, 6. Hey, caller, hold on. There's hold more up. butter. Give me this. <laughs> this is what he want. This is what the so-called white man want. Psalms 137. One second, caller. 137, one second. verse 5 and 6. In your, holding, p- like in your patience, possess <laughs> your soul. your soul. Listen, this is good. Psalms chapter 137, verse 5. Come on. If I forgot thee, O Jerusalem. That's what the white man want me to do. The white man want me to always remember America. Mm-hmm. Come on. Let my right hand forget her cunning. That's what he wants us to do. He wants us to do it. That's what he wants Because you know what? Forget. Right now, you think he must have got to forget you. Right. right. <laughs> no. Must have got to say, no. Nah. No, he's scared. He's scared. Because mm-hmm. he sees us in order. He yeah. said, right. if these right. brothers stay the same way, we in problem. That's what, he, that's what he's saying. That's what he's saying to himself. Yep. Come on, read on. <clears throat> uh-huh. Verse 6. Uh-huh. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. That's what he want us to do. He want us to keep silent. Mm-hmm. As long as we keep silent, this kingdom going to be no, for quite a while. Right. Keep silent. You know yeah, what you're looking at? You know what you're looking at? I'm talking to you, Esau. You know what you're looking at? You're looking at the rise of the greatest nation that's ever stepped foot in this Damn. planet. That's right. 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 That's what you're looking at. <laughs> be afraid. Be very afraid. Damn. Come on. Damn. Tell him. Come on. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my so mouth. So if we, as Israelites, we, IUIC, don't remember, mm-hmm. you understand? The most I said, the most I said, if we don't remember Jerusalem, mm-hmm. every last drop one of the Israelite tongue going to stick to the roof of their jaw. Mm-hmm. They're, gonna, they're just going to just eat bad food in America. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're going to do. Eat pork, crab, sheep. That's what you want us to do to stay in sin. No. Right. The most that white said, Jesus. Huh? Yes. That's what you want us to do. Right. You finish that? No, no, sir. Come on. I like that last line. Come on. <laughs> Mouth. If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Mosai says he prefers Jerusalem, Jerusalem over above. anything else he, he enjoys. And His guess what Jerusalem is? Joy. By the way, he's not he's not talking about Jerusalem a country, he's not talking the about land. the people. He's talking about the people. We are Damn. Jerusalem. That's right. We are the apple of his eye. We are Jerusalem. Damn. Damn. We are the hey. apple of his eye. Hey. Get ready. We coming. Hey, D, you said something. I know we got a caller. D, you said something happy. You said we are the what? The greatest what? We are the greatest 
people that's ever stepped foot in these damn planets. So how, do, how does the black man become the greatest people? Can we get one more script, Deke? Just to ride on what you said. I was, yeah. Hey, you know what? More, more Judah You know what? Hey, this is, it, this hey, is lion boy. Hey, to hell, hey, to hell what was going on in America. This is what's going on. This is Go what's going on. Read it. Read it. Genesis 1818. Hey, hey, Cole, hold on. Some butter coming out. Hold in on. Your patient, in your patience possesses your soul. <laughs> in your patience. <laughs> just remember your thoughts. Just remember your thoughts. Hey, qu- yeah, don't lose your question. Seriously, uh, Cole, just remember your question. One Genesis second. Genesis 1818. How can the black man, how, how do we become the greatest nation? Because remember, Captain Shemaiah brought out that everything is out of course. Read that. Genesis chapter 18 and verse 18. Come on. Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation. Uh Uh-huh. And all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Now, is that talking about the other nations? No, that's talking about the nation of Israel. Because why? We're scattered to the four corners of the world. Abraham is our forefather. That's our dad. Read. Verse 19. Uh Uh-huh. For I know him Uh that he will command his children Uh and his household after him. Read. And they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice Uh and judgment. Uh Uh-huh. That the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he hath spoken of him. You see that? That's how you become a great nation. You brothers, get your damn balls out your wife's damn purse, man. And come hey, back to that God hey. role that you're supposed to be <laughs> in, man. Hey, damn. You know why you should call this class? Uh, Black men, take your balls back. Take your balls back. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we're going to name it that. Hey. Get Video your ball. team. That's get, what you should hey, call this get class. Your hey, get your balls hey, back. Re- get your balls back. Get your balls back. Get your balls back. And stand up like a man that you are. Hey, reclaim your scrotum. Black man, take yes. your balls back. <laughs> right. Black man, take your balls back and stand up like a man. Snatch your balls. Hey, hey Snatch a ball. <laughs> 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 hey, caller, Shalom, caller. What's your name, question, or comment? Shalom. I know you've been patient. Uh, can you Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. What's your name, question, or comment? This is uh, brother James. I got a comment. Uh, all praises to you guys. You know, you bringing out some powerful stuff this morning. Uh, I just wanted to bring out and touch on something about the, the caller called in about his sister who had the master's degree. I got this book. It's called the, uh, the the Destruction of the Black of Black Civilization, and I'm just going to, if you don't mind, I'll just read this quick paragraph. It says, um, "I found that the system of European education fostered a new kind of um, aristocracy, an aristocracy of the so-called educated college graduates. Uh, I'm sorry. For example, the son of a car- carpenter or railroad conductor became estranged from his family and former friends upon receiving his university g- degree. A case in point: a friend of mine, who was a, a close friend of mine, he refused to go home during any of the long vacation breaks because, to quote him, "I can no longer associate with my family and old friends. I wouldn't know how to talk to them. We have nothing in common. You, you, you know." So. This is how Esau's education system right, right, destroys right. our people because right. we go in and, and get his education and we come out, we no longer associate with our people who we grew up with. And in turn, we get jobs and we don't bring those businesses back to our, our, our neighborhood. 100% correct. 100%. Hey, uh, brother, what's the name of that book and the author? Um, they're asking on the Periscope. Just ordered it. Yeah, it's, it's called... Uh, the destruction of black civilization by Chancellor Williams. It by Chancellor, Chancellor Williams. Okay. All praise to the most high. Thank you. Bro. Ordinary too. Look at that. I, I got. I got it too. Hey, uh, it too. let me get a script. Mm-hmm. Mark four, four and eighteen. Hey, you've been holding that butter. I've been holding that butter. <laughs> this is for the brother's uh, oh, sister, uh, cousin. I knew she was an Israelite. She had uh, three master degrees. Man. She used Kanye West's uh, first album. What was that college dropout? Yes, she used college oh, dropout as her theme music to get through coach. her three, get her three master degrees. What did Deacon say? He had Mark that? four and eighteen. Yeah, I have that. Yeah, you know, you Deacon, Deacon be holding out with you. I have that book. No, nah, no, nah, he got the oh, book. Okay. No, I have that book. I had that book for a while, man. I had that book. Mark, yeah, four, Mark and four and eighteen. Mark. Because what the brother said was his his sister put him onto the truth. Then when he gets in the truth, she goes marries an Edomite. Yes, gets all these degrees. Let's see what the Bible says, what kind of Israelite she is. Read. Mark chapter 4, verse 18. And these are they which are sown among thorns. His cousin was sown among thorns, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's find out what that means. Such as hear the word. She heard the word. And the cares of this world. The mm-hmm. cares of this world. That's what's going to drop a lot of our brothers and sisters is the cares of Babylon the great, man. The cares of this world. 
What's going on in America? How do I get that Edomite that got the slave plantation down south? Damn. That's what that's what he said. He said he said he, he's inherit my my husband, my white husband's gonna inherit this uh plantation land. She's caring for the riches of the world. Right. She's still in that slave mentality mm -hmm. with her three degrees. Her guarantee her three degrees is not helping build up her Israelite nation. Right. Bring it out. Then for her white man mm -hmm. that she's cracking her legs open for every night. <sighs> getting called nigga bitch. Yep. Bed winch. Oh, you know he's saying it. Yeah. You know he's saying it. Of course. Oh, man. Read it again. Mm -hmm. Mark chapter 4 and verse 19. And the cares of this world uh -huh. and the deceitfulness of riches. The what? The deceitfulness of riches. Listen, that white man that you married, sister, might give you for a small portion of time until you get fed up. You get caught nigga bitch one time too many and you want to leave or whatever the case may be. It's deceitfulness of riches. You're trading in the kingdom Damn. to be with the devil. Trimming your waist. You're trimming your waist. Where's the bomb, brother? Read. <laughs> Yeah, we do our own. We're gonna have to do our own ad libs here. Oh, we got another phone call. We got another phone call. Oh, Finish it out real oh, yes, quick. Sir. Yes, sir. And the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things enter in. See that it could be the lust of anything that could keep you away from that kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay, her lust is that damn white devil mm -hmm. that she knows is the devil. She says she learned this before the brother. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Entering in, choke the word. Now it's choked you, sister. The love of Esau choked you, the, the affinity you have for him. Right. And it become unfruitful. Now you're unfruitful. Now you're into Egyptology. Damn. Now you're into the, that white devil. Hmm. Shalom, caller. What's your name, question, or comment? Hey, Shalom, caller. What's your name, question, or comment? Uh, shalom, uh, brother LeVon from Houston. Uh, first off, I want to tell y'all, I just want to appreciate y'all brothers, you know what I'm saying, for bringing out that truth, that fire. Y'all do a good job, and I enjoy listening to y'all show every Sunday. Um, my comment is, uh, it's more of like advice. Uh, I got a homeboy, and, uh, he's just not leaving the, uh, the Christian church. And, you know, and, uh, he was saying that, you know, he's starting to believe that the Bible's not real, that, you know, it's fairy tales and stuff, you know. And I told him that he shouldn't look at it from, uh, uh with Christian lens on because when he do you know what I'm saying it's gonna be false my advice to you you know me me my uh my question from y'all because I'm just not getting the truth like you know what should I tell him or you know uh can I recommend him to y'all website or uh, because I don't want to tell him nothing wrong the best thing to do is recommend him to the website give him a flyer let him see videos okay because right now if you were just coming into this truth you cannot explain what you need to explain to him fully what you would want to articulate to that brother fully and, and make it make sense, okay? So what you should do is build yourself up first. Yes, sir. Okay, you get in class uh, three times a day, seven days a week for free. You got uh, Periscope. You got all these avenues to get the knowledge. Podcast. Podcast right. You got all these, these different avenues, okay? And find the school nearest to you and go and get built up. You got Camp 101. Oh. Then when you become built up, you will be able to teach that brother properly because right now the Christian church can't teach that brother and guess what? Right now, at your level, you can't teach him at your level until you get right. yourself built up. All right. So, so just you know, you, I'm sure you got his email address. If you want to, uh, some of our videos online, you can just email it to him. Let him sit down and watch. That's how a lot of us came in the truth. Somebody sent us a video. Exactly. And you sit down and you watch it. You tell him to open up his Bible, watch it. And I'm sure he can't. There's, there's no refuting it. And listen, it can't be debunked. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> we can never be debunked. Never hey, can, be debunked. I, can I say something? Absolutely. Uh, thank you, brother, for calling. Thank you for calling. Uh, I want to I wanna go back to, to that video, make a comment. What these two women were saying is what uh, that's that, that, that congressman in, uh, in Atlanta here, what's his name? John Lewis said he, he, will, he was not accepted Donald Trump as president. Right. Because something about the Russian help him. He, he, I don't, he, he didn't even go to the uh, so-called og, og, an, an inauguration. It, uh, it's not we got, legitimate. We got you, Donald Trump was spawning. Donald Trump was spawning by saying. So I told you about this Benjamin, Benjamin book. Hey, I didn't say it, D. It wasn't me that time. Donald Trump was spawning <laughs> by saying that, <laughs> hey, uh, don't worry about my presidency. Worry about your state. Uh, they in Shambo, you got you got you got uh, gangs, you got murders, you got all these things going on in, in Georgia and in, in your state. But 
you were about me. And John Lewis respond was, look at all these great things. You got the the you got the uh uh uh, uh you got the stadium for you got the football game, you got uh you got uh, uh Coca Cola, you got Warner Brothers. That's what that's what John Lewis responding. But that's he, what he responded. Oh, that's wow. what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. He said Atlanta is fine. What? That's <laughs> that's on my check. Is they said it's an epidemic. Yeah. With the AIDS, AIDS going yeah. on in yeah. Atlanta. It's the number and, one place. And the black and, man says it's fine. Oh, and, okay. And I was listening to black people got mad. They said he should have never talked about John Lewis like that because he's an icon. Because he was with Martin Luther King. <sighs> you cannot make you cannot make stuff like that up. My my this is this is the this is my, this is the problem I have with, with us as as a people. Because me personally, I don't give a damn about Donald Trump. I don't give a damn about I don't give a damn about the other nation, pay you. Not a damn. Not a damn. I, I only give a damn about my people. This is the problem I have with us as a people. We don't hold nobody accountable for nothing. When it comes to our people, we don't hold them accountable. It's like you said, hey, Malachi, you a deacon, you don't have to do nothing. Just sit there, be a deacon. Uh, 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 captain Shemaya, you don't have to do nothing. Just be a captain. Do nothing. Don't go out in the street and teach. Don't do nothing. Just stay home with the Bible. Don't do nothing. Officer by numbers, don't do nothing. Just be an officer. Don't do nothing. We have to, as a people, we got to start holding each other accountable. When you say you're a leader, when you call yourself a leader, this is the problem we have today in the black community. We have a bunch of so-called leaders who ain't doing nothing for the people. We have a bunch of so-called leaders who's telling the people, keep hope alive. You know what keep hope alive mean? It's okay to be in the bottom. That's what keep hope alive mean. That's why we, as the usual lie, we're not about talking. We're about doing. It's time your black men, black people in this country, Especially the black men stand up and take responsibilities and, and, and be accountable. Stop complaining about your neighborhood. Why don't you stop waiting for the white man <laughs> to do something? Why don't you get up you butt and do it you damn self? That's right. This is the thing Donald Trump is saying that I 100% I agree with. Like, like I said, I don't give a damn about Donald Trump. I don't vote for Donald Trump. I don't vote, period. We don't vote, we don't vote. But the thing with the black people is we don't like we don't like when somebody tells us about ourselves. He's a hundred Donald Trump is hundred percent right. Because when you look at this last year, they say Atlanta, when it comes to the AIDS virus, when it comes to homosexuality, country. Atlanta is worse than a third world country. Do you know do you even know what that means? Okay. <laughs> Did you ever see a third world country? Well we got a football stadium. We but got we a, got a football studio. We, we got football, though. But we got Coca-Cola here. Negroes is dying at a long got, we got. I mean, are you serious? We got a video of a brother got shot right in front, right of, the, in right front, front of, of us. Right Please. in front of us. But he said, Atlanta is fine. That Negro is crazy. Are you serious? There was no march for that brother either. No. Nope. No march. We don't no like matter. We don't like people telling us about ourselves. We said, hey, don't tell us about my daily laundry, sweeping under the rugs. Right. Uh, 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 and that's the problem we have. That's why we're still killing each other today. That's why you see the Negro killing today. You say, oh, you see it. You say, don't say nothing. What do you do? Tomorrow he come back and kill your own son. Why? Because you refuse to like that Negro right, right. who did that evil. And, we love evil. And guess what? And it's not like Atlanta just got that way. Atlanta was like that. Remember Freak Nick? Yep. Remember right, all yep. of this whoredom that was going on? Right. Atlanta been been jacked up. Yep. So he act, which what are you acting like? It, it, it went from the slums to now it's top notch? Hey, but you ain't doing a damn thing in Atlanta. Hey, hey, Cap, that's heavy you say that. What? Because uh the Olympics justifies, it solidifies Atlanta. Right. Greekish yeah, customs it solidifies Atlanta as being something. That's my, this is my Can thing, we get a script? Man. Oh, I'm sorry. Black man is gonna stand up. Okay. Let's go to Isaiah nine and six. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, hmm. chapter nine. Let's see about your great Negro leaders. What does the Bible say? Mm -hmm. And then let's go to Exodus 2. Okay. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse. Hey, we're going to compare your black leaders to a biblical black leader. Right. Verse 6. For unto us. No, no, no. 16. 16. 16. Sorry. 
Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 16. Now, this is the Negro leader. Go ahead. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. The Bible says you follow John Lewis. You follow in Bill Clinton because he was to you. He was a black leader, too. You follow these men, uh, uh, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton. You follow these men. What is the results of that? Not a damn thing. You're still at the bottom. Black people love Bill Clinton, but you Bill Clinton like you sons, you you husband up. Nobody nobody like more black people up in jail. A lot of people that's in jail today is because of Bill Clinton. It's because of Bill Clinton doing but football But your Negroes, numbers. you go and vote for his wife. You are right. some sick yeah. people. Just you are sick, 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 sick people. You are you sick old man. Mm. You are retarded. Yes, sir. Let's read that again, Cap. Uh, Verse 16, Isaiah 9 and 16. For the leaders of this people uh -huh. cause them to err. You are in error. You're drug addicts. Grown men with their pants blow their ass mm -hmm. on drugs or selling drugs. Mm -hmm. You kill each other. You hate each other. Our women have turned into men. Mm -hmm. Our men into little boys. Our men into half a woman mm -hmm. wearing dresses. This is all under the watch of your black leaders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all under your leadership. It's all on their watch. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And they that are led of them. And what? And they that are led of you, them. You sheep. You sheep-ass Israelites, mm -hmm. led of these men mm -hmm. that mean you no damn good, mm -hmm. right. are destroyed. You're a destroyed people. That's why you're so mad that Trump is in office right now. You're, for what? You niggas is dying under, under Obama. At the same rate, probably you're going to die under Trump. What the hell is the difference? No difference. The ghetto is the same under Trump as it is under Obama. As, as it was under Clinton, under as it Bush. Was under Bush, uh, under Reagan, under all of them. The hell is gonna change? Hey, hey, you know what's gonna change? Let me tell you, let me tell you what's gonna change. This is this is I'm gonna show you how the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Hold on. Okay. Remember, okay. remember, no, no, I'm gonna let you finish your scripture. Remember under Obama, the murder rate in America is skyrocket. Skyrocket. Just in the city of Chicago alone. 760 black people dropped dead by other black people. Right. But nobody want to say nothing about that. I didn't hear Obama say nothing. No, he didn't say nothing. He went to Chicago, said good goodbye. He didn't even mention that crap. He didn't even say what nothing. What about Michelle? Nobody said nothing. She was busy dancing on Ellen. Yep. You know, yeah, hey, you know what you're going to see? Mark my word. Under Donald Trump, all the murder's going to stop. You yep. want to know why it's going to stop? Yep. So the white man can say, you're black man. Ain't right. Say it again. Because isn't the same thing that was going on under Duncan in New York? Mayor Dinkins. Then, right. Mayor Dinkins. Then Giuliani come. He come the white man. He come the savior. Who came? The white man. No, what's his name? Giuliani. Oh, Giuliani. Yeah, Giuliani came and just, what, Giuliani passed. I thought you said Giuliani. I'm sorry. No, Giuliani. What is wrong with, this, what is wrong with this captain, bro? <laughs> I didn't say nothing, Dickens. It wasn't me. Oh, God. This side of the room is good. <laughs> Can I make my point now? Yes, sir. Now you're going to make me forget what I was yes, about to sir. say. <laughs> Here come Giuliani come to clean the mess up. The white man let all these murders happen on purpose. They can stop it. There's like, no, 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 don't stop it because we got a black president. Don't stop it. Wait until we put the black man in office and then he's gonna, we're going we're gonna to stop it. Then we're going to say, hey, look, look, the black man with it then. That's what I tell you, brothers, man. Stop with under white men to clean you, you ish. Hmm. Get off your butt and do it you damn self. That's why. That's why when that that coon, uh 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 uh, uh Donald Trump call what his name uh Steve Harvey and the other one, the Kanye one that, West, uh, Kanye West, and you Jim got Jim Brown, the, Jim Brown, you got uh, the other one he put in charge of that housing. I'm a Rosa. I'm a Rosa. I'm a Rosa. I know the other one he put the one the doctor. Oh yeah, um um Ben Carson. Carson. Ben Carson. Carson. They ain't gonna do nothing. You waiting for them to do something for you? They you, hate their people. Wait a minute. Then Steve Harvey is a multi-millionaire. What yeah. the hell is Steve Harvey doing in the black community? The last time I looked, Steve Harvey, never, Steve, Harvey, Steve Harvey didn't go in the street of Chicago trying to stop the murder. He just sit comfortable on he his radio show. He just sit comfortable. Yeah, he just, you just see, you just see ben videos Carson, of him playing Ben Carson golf. never talk about the murder. And now all of a sudden now, oh, Steve Harvey hey. want to help the black community. Give me a freaking hey, break. Hey, D, why didn't Steve Harvey on his radio show for the past eight years go try to talk to Obama about... No. The black community. Nope. That's a, hey, that's a hell of a good point. Nope. I didn't hear him say nothing about that. <laughs> <coughs> nope. Now, now, now he want to get together with the devil because he want to help black people. And and some of you are so stupid. 
So simple, you believe that garbage. I'm telling you, man, some, oh, God. Hmm. Some of you, some of you need somebody to just slap you. Pow! Wake right. up. Yeah. And knock the sense, knock the living sense out of you. Knock the coon out of you. Yeah, knock the coon out of you. <laughs> hey, let's go back to Moses. Go to Hebrews. Hebrews. Yeah, I don't want Exodus. Slap the nigga out of him. Pow! Nigga be gone. Pow! Nigga be gone. <laughs> nigga be gone. Pow! <laughs> nigga be gone. <laughs> Leaving oh, the, f- the faith. 24. 24. <laughs> Let's go to Hebrews 11 and 24. Mm-hmm. Now, we, we said it was Isaiah 9 and 16. That was your black leader. They got you in error. Let's see about Moses. No, I'm sorry. Go to Exodus. Exodus. I'm sorry. I do need Exodus. Hold that, though. Let's go to Exodus chapter 2, verse 11. Now, let's see the reverse of your Negro leader. Exodus chapter 2 <clears throat> and verse 11. And it came to pass in those days... When Moses was grown. When Moses became of age. Go ahead. That he went out unto his brethren. What did he do? That he went out unto his brethren. Moses said, hey, I got to see what's going on with my people. That's right. How are they doing? That's right. How are they living? That's right. Do they have everything they need? That's right. Are they comfortable here? Are they getting oppressed here? Mm -hmm. Are they being afflicted here? I got to find out. Mm -hmm. That's right. Go ahead. And looked on their burdens. He looked on their burdens. He had concern for his people. people. He wasn't trying to line his pockets. That's right. He that's was trying what, to live in a big house. That's what a master. true leader do. That's what a true leader does. That's right. We're going to prove it in the New Testament too. That's right. Good. And he spied an Egyptian smiting in Hebrew, one of his brethren. And he, he's, he spied an Egyptian doing, doing what? Afflicting his brother. Mm-hmm. So now go to the New Testament. Mm-hmm. Hebrews, Hebrews 11, 24. Gotcha. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 24. By faith. Moses, when he was came, come to years, when he was grown, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. In today's time, he said, I ain't no damn American. Right. Yep. I'm an Israelite. That's what he said. I am an Israelite. Mm. I ain't no damn American. I'm a Hebrew. Go ahead. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. What did hey. the black leader do? Choosing rather to suffer affliction. Ahead, you know what's so heavy about this, what you just said? Go ahead. Black people always refer to this country as our country. That's what they, these two uh, yeah. sisters say. They're said. referring to our country. Black people forgot they was born here. Ne- they, black people, f- we, you know we forgot how we got here? Right. These two women forgot how their four parents had a, oh my goodness. Hey, Bro, that's so heavy what you bring out. These two sisters said, it's not about black and white or pinstripes. It's right. about the American people. Damn. That's what they said. Yeah, okay. But how do you get here? Hey, Did question, you fly here? Question: What were they were they put into slavery because they were pinstripe? <laughs> no. Huh? Damn. We forgot how we got here. You mm. come here, you was in chain. Mm, mm, mm. You forgot how many of you people perish on their way here. Right. Millions, hundreds of millions of our people die on the way here. When we got here, we we served hard bondage here. Damn. We was picking cotton from sun up to sundown. Right. Mm-hmm. The, the, the economy of the United States of America was built on the back of our forefathers. Right. Mm. They owe you trillions and uh, they, trillions they, of dollars. That's why they're not even fathoming yeah. reparations. They can't afford it. We forgot they that when the Constitution of America was written, we was in chain. Mm. We forgot that we was one fifth of one fifth. No, three Th- fifths. Three, three fifths. fifths of a man. Mm. We forgot that we was lynching. We forgot that there was a time there was color here, no color here. We forgot all that. Mm. We forgot that we was water holes. Damn, yeah. Dude, damn. Yo, those we forgot that they said dogs on us. I don't think brothers or sisters understand how powerful that water hose is. Oh, my yeah. God. We forgot those little girls that got bummed in that church. Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. In Alabama. They're from Alabama. They're from Alabama. They forgot that, dude. We forgot the KKK is still around today. Yes. We forgot how the cops still shooting us in the street today. Mm. Dang. Hey, they forget how we was getting our behinds beat at Trump rallies the That's other day. Damn. Damn, that was within the last couple months. That was, that for- was the other day. We forgot how the... A cup last a couple of years ago, not even a couple of years ago, how that Esau walk in the church killing our people. Right. We forgot the history of this place. Dead asleep and comfy in America. 
Oof. We forgot the dark history of America with our people, man. That's what I said. The the prophets not gonna keep silence, man. That's right. We're mm. gonna we, we're gonna keep That's remind right. you yep. what these people hey. is about. Hey, man. the same way they man. never let you forget Fourth of July, the same way they never let you forget in the what Labor Day, Independence, right. the, what all them days they have. Why in the hell should we let you forget what they have done? They have done. I'm telling you, man, the Israelite. We d- we here to remind you. Mm-hmm. I know you hate you hate being reminded. Hey, too damn bad. Yeah, too damn bad. We are gonna remind you of of this devil, what this man done to our people, hey. man, and what he's continue doing to our people. And one of the worst things you could do is not teach your children who the devil is. Bring it yep. out. Damn right. Bring it That's out. That's one of the worst things you could do because your children will go out into the world with this mentality right here. Right. They'll go out there feeling like these sisters here, like they're entitled to something. Like they 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 have a piece of the American pie. Yep. No, 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 no. That 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 this is remember, remember I want you all to remember this. This is not our rest. Yep. That's right. This is not our place of salvation. This is not the damn land of milk and honey. That's right. This is not damn it. Right. This is the place where you are to see your people as we just read Moses, saw his people, right. worried yep. about the state of his people, that they can get right and be delivered out of Egypt. That's right. This is the greatest Egypt known to man. Like Damn. Officer Barnabas brought out earlier, this is the greatest Egypt. Damn. So we must look upon the affliction of our people, get right so we can be delivered from this Egypt. Damn. Yeah, there's more in that too. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I'm hey, telling we, you, we, one way or the other, we're going to get there out of here. Damn. 325 again. Yes, sir. With you or without you. We want to get out of here with you. But if we got to go without you. If we got to go without you. Shalom. 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 Hebrews chapter 11, verse 25. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God Good. than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. So, Moses said to hell with your MSNBC show. He don't want that thing. Yep. Moses said to hell with your big cars and your fancy dona- and your, your donations, your national action networks. He didn't want that. Your rainbow yeah. coalitions. He didn't want that. Mm. He said he'd rather suffer affliction and, and, and then enjoy the pleasures of sin. Right. The pleasures of America, the pleasures of Egypt. Hey, you know, you know what's we know what's heavy about what you just said. A lot of times, people will come into our modest schools, right? Our schools are not these big, lavish cathedrals like you see these Catholic glass churches windows. have with stained glass windows. And they come into our modest schools and look, look, look what these niggas got. Mm, mm. But guess what? I'd rather suffer in modest means with my brother, and having a joyful Sabbath, having a joyful Damn feast right. day like we do than to be hooping and hollering in that damn theater you call a church. That's right. Damn right. Any damn day. Mm-hmm. Listening to lies all day. Paying for lies. Mm. You paying for a lie. Damn. Mm. Finish that. Damn. Yeah, there's more butter on that. Verse 26. Esteeming the reproach of Christ. What did Moses do? Esteeming the reproach of Christ. See that? The leader is supposed to esteem the reproach of Christ. We esteem the reproach of Christ. Go ahead. Greater riches. Than the treasures in Egypt. Then, then the treasures of Egypt. In other words, we ain't selling out. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to keep these laws till we get up out of here, man. Mm-hmm. Good. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. That reward is the kingdom. <sighs> That's what that is. Hey. He knows there's a kingdom coming after that, yes. after this oppression here. He said, hey, I'd rather suffer with my people here. Yep. And then enjoy the pleasures of sin here for a right. season, for a That's short right. time. For a short time. And get everlasting life on this side. Right. All praise to the Damn. most high. Hey, all all praise. This is for a short time, man. Hey, all we, got, we got time for, for, for one more script. Yeah, we got time. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, because. We all the time in the woman. This is and we know, we know back that Esau does a diligent search. Our captors do a diligent search. Um, even going back to what the brother mentioned about his sister uh, following Egyptology. We come across Egyptology on a <laughs> all day long on the internet, YouTube. It's all over the place. Um, you look at Washington, you see that the oppressor, even on the back of the dollar bill, there's an Egypt, uh, uh, a pyramid, the obelisk. So we know when you read back in Judah 5 and 20, the nations knew that as long as we were in sin, the Most High would not fight for us. Okay? I want, you, I want to show you something real quick. Can we go to Leviticus 18? I just want to make sure I word this right, and, and hopefully it don't go over your head. He said the butter, this the butter, butter this, might be too high. This butter might, might be too much for you. 18 yeah, or what? Start at one. That's Deacon Yosef's son right there. <laughs> huh? 
Leviticus chapter no, 18 I want people, verse I want people to hear. One. You can oh. yell up some. I'm not. <laughs> Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 no hey, hey, hey. oh, go deep. Hey, that's that's my spiritual father, it's but I can never brother, fill yeah. those shoes. That, that <laughs> deacon is on another level. Okay. Leviticus 18. Leviticus chapter 18 oh. and verse 1. Come on. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, uh-huh. Speak unto the children of Israel uh-huh. and say unto them, uh-huh. I am the Lord your God. Stop. This is so spiritual. You know why, Cap? Remember when Moses came out of Mount Sinai? What were the complaints about the Egypt? Uh, uh, damn. Almost give it away. What were the complaints about the Israelites while they were in the wilderness at the bottom of Mount Sinai? They wanted they wanted them cucumbers and melons. They wanted everything that they had, the luxuries in Egypt, correct? Yep. Okay. That's so true. like today, when I was stating back in Judith Judith five and twenty, remember our enemies know what kept us in sin. Right. What was one of the major things that kept us in sin? We still long for the things and the ways of Egypt. Right. Just like today, they're so caught up in Egyptology, right. a white man's tradition, John Franco's Chipoleon, okay? Read what you have now. Verse 3. Verse 2. Verse 2. Uh-huh. Speak unto the children of Israel uh-huh. and say unto them, uh-huh. I am the Lord your God. Verse 3. After the doings of the land of Egypt, Come on. wherein ye dwelt, uh-huh. shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, Shall ye not do? Because you guys boast Egyptology so damn bad. But let's see what the Egyptians were doing. The same things that we do in America today is what they were doing in Egypt. So the the enemy knows exactly what triggers, our, what tickles our fancy, right. what the lust are, the things that we had. Those same spirits are here on the world and in, 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 on the earth today. Those right. same rebellious Israelites are here today. Read verse six. Verse six. None of you shall approach to any. That is near kin to near of kin to you. You Negroes in Egyptology. Read it again. I'm sorry. Yeah, read Verse that. Six. Read that. None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him. Uh huh. To uncover their nakedness. Y'all sleeping with y'all cousins? Y'all uh, do that today. Read the next verse. Verse seven. Mm-hmm. The nakedness of thy father, uh-huh. or the nakedness of thy mother, uh-huh. shalt thou not uncover. Those are the ways of the Egyptians. Mm. So y'all Egyptian, y'all doing that today? Y'all y'all agree with that? You're fully in league with that. Right. Read. She is thy mother. Come on. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Mm. Hey, one thing on that. If you know anything about some of those uh, pharaohs mm-hmm. when they were children, they were they were child. Some of them were child pharaohs. Yes. The mother would be their queen. Yes, in other words, yes. their mother would be their wife. Mm-hmm. Okay? That was an Egyptian custom, too. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Good. Mm-hmm. Verse 22. Let's see another Egyptian custom. Verse 22. Mm-hmm. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Wait a minute. Hey, that's another Egyptian custom. That's hey, right. this video's on YouTube right now where there was a, a, a sister checking that dude. Remember, Amin, what was his name? Where she was like, your whole rear end's all blown oh, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Why your, why your a-hole look uh, so blown out? Right. Put him on blast. Yeah, yeah. You follow in the ways of the Egyptians. Verse 23. Verse 23. Uh-huh. Neither shalt thou lie with any beast uh-huh. to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there too. Did not America pass that law? Can it is it is it now right to go and sleep with your animals? They, Did not America pass they, that they're law? They're lobbying it. They're, they're lobbying, lobbying it. that law right, right now. Right. You Negroes in full league with that thing. So don't think that the enemy is not sleeping. Hey. You guys, okay. And I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say this real quick. You know, you, it's heavy what you brought out initially about Esau giving us that thing that we want to cleave to, mm-hmm. because you know, they they claim that Egypt is a great civilization. Right. We all come from this great civilization. And they love to say the oldest uh, bones were found where? In Egypt. Egypt. So everybody come from Egypt. But guess what? Egypt is not the oldest civilization that's been discovered. That's right. It was actually Mesopotamia. Yes. Mesopotamia is the Middle East. So why didn't Esau make our people cleave to the Middle East? Hmm. Why? Because that's nearer to our homeland than Africa is. Damn. Y'all understand that thing? Because the oldest civilization known to man is Mesopotamia, but they're not telling you to look in the Middle East. Right. Mm. They're not telling you to look uh, 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 because uh, uh, there's other dark races in the earth. If all men are dark, why do they always pick Africa? Right. <laughs> Good point. Right. That's an excellent hey, point. That's the butter. You dropping butter, bro. Woo. You dropping hey. some butter. Bro, they're going to hate you. Guys. Hey, but here, here's the thing, too. Here's the thing, too. Mm. 
what they did in the 70s, late 70s, 80s, on a higher level is come out with so-called scholars, scholarly teachers like Dr. Ben, Henry Clark, and they started pushing that thing all over the place. Kwanzaa uh, worship now and all that pro-black, I'm blackity blickety blackity black. <laughs> I'm purple black and I'm blacking them blacking them black. Okay, they started pushing that vibe all throughout. Yes. But that vibe got nothing to do with you. Even if you take New York now, if you think about it, even let, let's say back in the days, 125th Street, we had vendors out there. Brothers couldn't own the, the store. Fr- we couldn't get no storefronts. Nope. Mm. Brothers had vendors all over the place getting their money that way. They pushed the brothers out of there with that, Egypt, with that Egyptology stuff. Now you got Africans all over the vent. Now all the Africans are the vendors. Yeah. Now they got all the business. You stuck doing nothing all day, just hanging on a damn corner. You ain't got no business at all in your neighborhood. But you support the Africans. You look at the Africans as they're your brothers. The Africans don't give a damn about you. It's just, it's time to face facts, man. Right. You can, face you, the damn facts. Hey, you can thank, you can thank Martin Luther King for that one. Damn. Hey, so so doing out of the ways of the Hamites didn't 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 benefit them. Let's read verse three again. <laughs> right. Read verse three again. Read Leviticus eighteen and three. Mm-hmm. After the doings Wait. of, after, after the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. The Bible says, "Don't do after the Egyptians, who are Africans, who are Hamites." Okay, don't do after their their ways. Got nothing to do with you. That's right. You was given a whole separate way of life and a whole separate law and culture That's right. to follow. The problem is you Negroes don't want to accept your hey, culture. That's the problem. Hey, Cap, I got to say this. I know, I know we're we running late. I know it's, it's 12 o'clock hours. I got to say this. I always say this. The worst thing that ever happened to the black people in America is segregation. That's right. Integration. Integration. In- integration. 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 Because of integration, now the Negro become lazy. Yep. The Negro sit back now and let the white man do everything for him. Because of integration. The Negro sit back and say, hey, I don't have to do nothing now. Now I'm mango with the white men now. Now I can marry them. I can do this with them. I can do that. I can have kids by them. I can do this. I can do that. I don't have to do nothing now. I don't have to clean my neighborhood no more. But you know, when yeah. we were segregated. Yeah, we had no choice. We had, to we had no choice but to do it ourselves. We have no choice but to do it ourselves. But now we, we have to depend on them. For every damn thing. And guess what? That's one of the reasons I like Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump is going to bring that back. Donald Trump is going to, you know something? Lord's will. It's time your Negroes do something for you damn self. That's so right. Get off the couch. Hey. Get off the dolly couch. Do something. Do something for you people. Do something for yourself. Start depending on people and other men. You a man. Why are you depending on other men to do your you job? Stand up like men. That's what Moses did. Get your balls back. Yeah, I know. I know you got to go look for it. Go look for it. <laughs> she got them buried in, a, in the bottom of her shoe closet. Hey, go, <laughs> send a black safe. man, go look for your balls, Go man. look for your balls. There's somewhere in, 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 in the safety of go your woman's shoes yeah. in, her, in that closet. Yeah, yeah, it's somewhere in your closet. Go one, look for it. One of them 200 pairs of shoes, it's your balls in, in there somewhere. Yeah, it's probably in her purse. <laughs> your balls probably in her purse. Go look for it. <laughs> Damn. Oh, hey, hey, oh hey. man. Damn. She gave it to the kids. They playing catch with it out back. Yeah. Hey, the, the kids are doing, hey, what's that, that, that stress relief thing? Oh, shit. Sure. They're doing that stress relief, the stress the balls. Kids, <laughs> the kids are playing catch with your balls out back. Hey, Damn. what was, uh, um, remember Boys in the Hood? Oh, yes. When Lawrence father. Fishburne had the the the, the oh, balls. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that yeah. that that Zang, what's that? Zang, Zang, whatever. Yeah, whatever, but oh, jeez. I don't care. Whatever you gotta look, look for your balls and grab it. <laughs> grab it. <laughs> grab your balls and stand up like a man, man. Stand up like a man, man. Stand up like, stand a, man. like a man. She's wanting her mouth, <laughs> sister. Shut the hell up. Sit down. Right. Give me my balls back. Right. Yeah, hey, give my hey. balls back. I demand give my, my balls, balls back. now. I demand my balls. <laughs> give hey, my balls. Hey, you, Stop you, playing games. You, I want my balls now. And you know what that goes into as well? Right. Stop letting your woman be your mouthpiece. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Damn. She Woo. she whispers in your ear. All of a sudden, her concerns are your concerns. Damn. We're gonna Yo, give you. We're gonna give you full security details. Yo, yes. <laughs> Yo, you're she she's she's basically the puppet master and you're the puppet. Damn. Pulling your strings. Pulling your damn strings, man. Mm, mm, mm. Stop but being anyway. concerned. Man, I'm I'm gonna leave it at that. Anyway, that's a good point. We're running out of time. Mm. Okay. 
IUIC podcast. Download, rate, like, comment, share the podcast, okay? Beautiful lessons, of course, from our bishops in New York as well as our deacons in New York, okay? Don't forget donations, israelunite.org backslash donations, give to the body. We also have a, a new, uh, I'm going to leave that alone. Um, make sure, oh, also, if you want to donate to Patient Saints Radio, okay, you can donate via PayPal at IUIC dot Atlanta at israelunite.org, okay? So if you want to donate directly to Patient Saints to help push the show, feel free to do so via PayPal, okay? Uh, what am I missing here? All right, with that, we say shalom. Shalom, shalom Israel. Israel. Shalom, brothers, and shalom, sisters. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. As many of you are finding out, Christianity has destroyed our people. For the past 400 years, we have been indoctrinated in lies. Those lies of Christianity have not benefited our people in the least bit. Many of you know this. So, like Christ said in John chapter 3, verse 3, he said, Except ye be born again, you shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So in order to inherit the kingdom of heaven, which shall be established on earth, you must be born again. What does that mean? Many of you always quote that, but you don't understand what that means. When you go to 2 Ezra, chapter 14, verse 34, Ezra said, Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding, meaning subdue all that you have learned here in Babylon the Great, it says, and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive. What does that mean? Meaning you must be taught all over again, taught your nationality, taught why it is that we as a people went into slavery here in America. Who are we? What is the mystery of why this country, these nations have changed our nationality? We here at Israel United in Christ, we have classes seven days a week, three times a day, all for what? For your learning, for your edification. You will learn things never taught to you before. You will learn history, you will learn prophecy, and more importantly, you will learn the dynamics of what you need today to survive as a people. One third of Israel is prophesied to repent of their sins and come into this truth. So now we need you brothers and sisters. Come, join us here at IsraelUnite.org. Go to our online classes and register. This is for you. This is for the redemption of the 12 tribes of Israel, brothers and sisters. I hope you understand that. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6 says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. And brothers and sisters, we are not keeping silence. So come join us. Help, help us build this truth. Donate to us so that we can keep this truth on and on. Push it forward. Help us get this gospel out. Because Christ said, when this gospel is taught throughout the earth, then shall the end come. So with that, brothers and sisters, we say shalom.